Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing? Happy Mother's Day. Happy Earthbound Day. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to hang out and play some Earthbound uh, with you all. Uh, I know maybe maybe all of you that are here hanging out know, but last year I put out a big Earthbound documentary. And a lot of people that watched that video said that they had never played the series before uh, or just had never, you know, had never taken the time. And now that the game is on Nintendo Switch Online, I mean, it's been on here for like a year. I thought it'd be fun to just like actually dive into this game with people maybe that have played it before loads, but also for those of you that like just have never taken the time to play it or maybe started it up and, and just didn't like have the energy to grind through the bosses and all of that. So yeah, so today we are not, <laughs> we are not playing Breath of Fire 2. I actually have all of my like favorite Super Nintendo games up on the screen here. That's why, that's why that's there. Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong Country 2, Fighter's History, of course. Um, but no, we're going to be playing Earthbound today, not Breath of Fire 2. I would love to play Breath of Fire 2, though, as well. That's, it's, one of my, it's one of my faves. Um, I'm just going to jump into the game right away, though, so that way we at least get some music going in here a little bit. Um, you can all, If you also notice, too, the side of my, my screen is a little like it was... Uh, I don't remember how to get back to the menu now. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, so you notice it's like gray and purple. It's because I'm using the Super Nintendo uh, NSO controller. Well, I guess it's not an NSO. It's just a Switch controller. But it gives you that cool theme on the side there, which is nice. And it has like different sound effects. It's really fun. But now that I'm done spewing words from my face, uh, I'm going to read the chat a little bit. How are y'all doing? It's 10 a.m. here on the Pacific in the Pacific Northwest. Doing all right. I'm uh, I'm a little sleepy. I stayed up a little too late last night playing um, everyone's favorite, The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, it was crazy. I just kept like finding things. It was like, oh, like go do this. Oh, go do that. I'll go do this. And I'm not gonna say what they were because I know lots of you are also just starting the game. But my goodness, crazy. Also, I love that Earthbound is is it has a space in the name there. I don't know if you noticed it, but like Earthbound's branding and like marketing is just so inconsistent like in the early days nobody really knew like if it if it was supposed to be two words or just one uh, it, it doesn't make any sense but it's, it's but it's really fun to like dig into that history and i think that's one of like the biggest reasons i love this stupid game so much just because it's such a a wild like vast pit of it's just it's the biggest rabbit hole you can just go so deep it's it's infinite pretty much I also do have uh, the uh, the strategy guide here with me as well that uh, our directors gifted me. They gifted me like a full, like complete and box copy of the game last year after I made the video because they were just, I don't know, because they're, they're just the nicest people on the planet. Uh, but but yeah, I thought it'd be really fun to to use this, maybe show off some parts of it here and there. Because uh, I've never, when I played through the game on 2DS uh, a couple years ago, I guess, I didn't, uh, I didn't use a strategy guide. I mean, I looked up things when I got stuck. And then I did play the game. Uh, I played like a third of it again when I was, um, when I was making the Earthbound documentary. And, uh, and then my buddy Zach, uh, who's in the chat, I see him hanging out there. Speed run the game, no, Zach, no. Uh, I, I wanna enjoy this process with everyone. Um, but Zach, Zach captured me some other three footage. And uh, I, oh, I captured Earthbound Beginnings footage as well. And honestly, like, Earthbound Beginnings is a, uh, it's it's the beginning, all right. It's a fun game, like especially after you've played Earthbound, and you can kind of appreciate some of the the nuances and 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 things, and and kind of, you can see it's like a stepping stone. You can see where Earthbound went, where Earthbound came from. Um, but Earthbound Beginnings is not the place that we're going to start. That is that is not uh, what I would. Don't start there. <laughs> Definitely like go play that game after you've played Earthbound, and uh, and maybe maybe Mother Three. If you somehow find that game somewhere, you know. Uh, oh, dang, we have some people watching from the UK, from York. Nice. Thanks, for, th thanks by the way, for everybody tuning in. I, I just, uh, before we start, I, I realize it's Mother's Day. You should all be contacting your friends and family that are mothers and just thank them for existing and for the effort that they put into this, this, this world. Um, but also, 
you know, maybe, maybe you're watching this with your family and friends. And if so, that's super cool. But I just want to say thank you. Thanks for being here. So I really, I, I've always wanted to like share the Earthbound experience with more people. And what better way to start it off than on Mother's Day in the U.S., in North America. Um, so if this stream, if you, if you like this stream, I will continue this stream, by the way, just for the record. You don't have to worry about this being a one and done stream. But also, if you like what you see, you can just go play the game yourself. Okay, after this title title card, then we will uh, then we'll get in. You may have also noticed, by the way, I have the CRT filter on on the game right now because I think it's just I love the the perfect pixel mode as well, but CRT mode is is crisp. So I've got yep. There's my save file from when I was replaying the game for the Earthbound dock, but we're gonna start it at save file three. I never like to use two. I think I'm, I just like to have that, like, like gap in the middle. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but to me, it, like, it feels like a, it's like a wall. It's like a barrier protecting, like, two save files. So, like, if I ever buy a game, like, from the store or, like, a pre-owned game and it has multiple save, or it has a save file from somebody else on it. So, sometimes I like to leave it if, it if they have, like, a ton of time in the game, and then I'll start my save file with save file three. Or maybe I'll copy <laughs> I'll copy theirs and uh, and then like drop it down or something like that. I think you can do that and yeah, you can copy. So I would I would probably do something like that. But tech speed. Uh let's do medium. Stereo sound? Sure, why not? Which which window? Mm, I think I'm kind of a mint guy myself. Uh yeah, I'm going to go with mint. Ah, nice. Hashtag #gulpin, which is my buddy Zach. Uh, he, uh, he always picks the bottom save file. That's cool. All right. So he, right now we're going to get a little interactive because this is, this is going to set, uh, the groundwork basically for the rest of the game. So I'm going to start a poll in the chat here and I want to know, should we go with the original names of the characters or custom names that we come up with right now? And I'm going to ask you all to vote. This is important. I see there's 160 of you hanging out right now, which is incredible. But I'm asking you. I'm going to set a timer on my phone for two minutes. You have two minutes to vote. All right, everyone? Once this timer goes off, I'm going with it. Whatever percentage is there. And I will quick, I will, I will say, I think original makes the most sense as well. Because I, I want everybody to know who is Ness. Who is Ness? <laughs> who is Paula? Who's Jeff? Who's Pooh? Um, but I also didn't... I, I, I want to do... I want to make this stream fun for you. So if you wanted it to be something more creative, I totally understand that. But, you know, if we... If we go the creative route, we're probably going to name Paula after my mom. So just know that, like, it's... It's going to get personal for me as well. You know, it doesn't have to be that. And I... I don't want everyone to just think Paula is now like Mel for the rest of their their uh, their their life. So, <laughs> who is Jeff? Jeff is my uncle, actually, as well. So, like, actually, we're we're still kind of diving into my life, anyways, just by going with the original names. We have seventy four percent, seventy five percent for the original right now. That's also the side I'm kind of leaning on as well. I would like to use the original names, but like I said, I wanted to know what you wanted. Uh, Beautiful Joe 99, by the way, says Mint for Earthbound is the theme they would pick, and Peanut for Mother 3. I actually don't remember what theme I picked for Mother 3. Uh, Jack Robbins also said, Did you ever play Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga? No, I did not. I played the first Lego Star Wars game on Game Boy Advance back in the day, and it was fine. Um, and I've played a, a few of the other ones since, but uh, but yeah, I didn't. Um, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan either. Uh, you know, if they did like Lego Earthbound. Whew. Just think about that for a second. Lego Earthbound. Lego Mother 3. Maybe that wouldn't be, I don't know. The game's comedic enough, but I would I would like to see it. I'd like I'd like to see the pitch. Hey, Evernight! That's awesome. Thanks for coming to hang out. Nintendo Life staff names plus mom. Mmm, nice. That's good. Call him Reggie. Oh no! Oh, I can't do that to Reggie. I can't do that to us. Reggie left Nintendo. Alright, the two-minute timer has gone off. 77% of you have voted for the original names. So we're going to go with the originals. By the way, also, that... So Ness, like, does, like, this little, like, walking thing here. And he, likes does the peace sign. 
which he does whenever photos get taken. But then he also like jumps in the air. And I don't know, is he gonna do it right now? Maybe now? Maybe now? Oh my gosh, Ness, quit. Uh, one, two, three, jump. Aw, oh, man. Ah, that was close. That was close. I don't think he does that jump in any other game at all. And I, I really need to make that like a Perler Bead Sprite. Or like, I actually, that's like a tattoo I would maybe get like someday is of Ness jumping like that. Do we do all caps or do we lo lowercase? I want to see what lowercase looks like. Oh, yeah, I like lowercase. Okay, Deska. I don't remember what that means. Does anybody remember? Thank you all for voting, by the way. 81 of you. Half of you voted. That's pretty good. I understand not all of you are, like, in a position where you can probably grab your phone or your TV remote or whatever it is that you're watching on and and name or vote. So I, I appreciate it. Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Jeffrey. <laughs> Fuzzy Pickles. Okay, Deska. I don't remember... What that means? Does that mean just like? Does it just mean like okay? Press don't care to do the default names. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna. I don't want to mess it up. I, I don't want them to do capitals, so I'm just gonna make sure. Oh yeah, but I can still go back from here, right? Cool. So let's test it out. Sweet. That's awesome. Hmm. Is this okay? Ah, nice. Uh, oh, I don't remember what... Is it named, like, Rex? Is that his name? King! Ah, I had a dog named Rex as a kid. Oopsies. Favorite homemade food. Ooh, what is it? Steak! Oh, it's, it's randomly generated, kind of. It's a roulette. If you pick, don't care. That's amazing. Eggs! Eggs! Favorite food! Um, so I traditionally pick cheese in this instance, but if you would like to type your favorite food in the chat, I will consider it because it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be cheese. It could be pizza. We could go with pizza. Does anybody like the thought of pizza? We're definitely not picking steak or salmon. What what do you think about pizza? I think pe cheese is kind of funny to me because that's pretty much all my diet is. But I think I feel like a lot more people can relate with pizza. A lot more relatable. Bread. Just carbs. <laughs> Just carbs. Hey, honey. <laughs> I made you your favorite food. Carbs. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do pizza for now. Unless if anyone says something better in the chat. Burgers, spaghetti, olives. Oh, Zach, no. Going for the throat. What's your favorite thing? Um, I think the don't care is love. Is that right? Rock. Oh, PK rockin'. Right. Oh, there's love. Okay. Gaming. So this, this comes into play in the game. I'm going to pick love for the story of the game. I'm, I'm going to pick that. Honestly, though, love is probably my favorite thing. So are we happy with this? We have Ness is the main character. We have Paula, is the one of the sidekicks. We have Jeff, also another sidekick. And we have Pooh, who comes in later into the game and is also pretty rad. King is the puppy. Our favorite dog, Boyo. Uh, our favorite food is pizza. And the coolest thing in the world entirely is love. Are we ready? Does anyone have any questions? Too bad. It is so cool to be able to play with a Super Nintendo controller on this, by the way. This thing feels like the original Super Nintendo controller. The texture is a little off, but it, it feels good. It's got a nice weight to it. Hey, Mark's here. Get those olives out of my chat. <laughs> Beginning of the game gets very spooky, by the way, everyone. Onet. One it? On it. A small town in Eagle Land. The year is 19XX. Does anyone know what year it actually is? I don't. I have no idea. I like to guess it's the 90s, though. Maybe it's the 80s. Ness's house. I don't remember if computers exist in this game. This part's so good. I don't remember if you have to wake up though. Uh oh, what was that? Anybody have guesses what that is? You can guess the totally opposite thing in the chat as well, so. 
Ooh. Uh, Daniel says, uh, so boss, does one pronounce, or, yeah, I, I say own it or on it. I think I would say, oh my gosh. I definitely wouldn't say one it, but there are people out there that do, and that's totally fine. And the villages have, like, they're in, they have uh, numerical puns, so, like, one it makes sense. It's the first town we go to. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? I actually like the, the idea that his sister's just, hey, bro. <laughs> did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Yeah. Were you not? Do you think mom will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Uh, pro tip, by the way, for Earthbound. If you hit the L button, uh, it lets you interact with whatever it is you're in front of. So, like, I think this present. Yep. Cool. Ness opened the present. There's a cracked bat inside. Ness takes it. So we're going to equip that right away. And, uh, yeah, so you can use that to talk to people instead of, like, going into the menu every time. Oh, so Zach says Onet. Victini says, oh, yeah, Onet as well. <laughs> uh, Christopher Ferguson says Onet. Okay, cool. So there is cool J Z eighty seven says one it. Yeah, everybody has a different way. The cool thing is, I don't think it's like Pokemon where you can like really. I I don't know. Just say it however you want. I'm just glad people are even considering talking about uh talking about Earthbound. So to me, there's no right or wrong answer. Oops. We got to go investigate that that loud sound though. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Ugh. Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. I love this, too. Like, instead of just, like, appearing with his pajamas, he, like, actually has to go back up to his room. So silly. So silly. This one's so cool. Thanks for hanging out, everyone, on Mother's Day. If you have mother arrangements to go... um participate in just remember this this stream will be available on the internet to watch later uh, you can also tell a friend about it maybe you can watch it with a with somebody later if you want you can watch it with your pup what if we, can we call dad right now beep nope no we can't Ooh. by the way there was a nice there was a really nice chat up above that i want to read quick before we get too far down I think it was from somebody named Sarah. Yeah, glad uh, Sarah one three eight six says, "Glad I just came across this live video as Earthbound has been a game I'm interested in, especially as you have spoken about it so many times in previous videos." Thanks, Zion Sarah from London. Yes, I, that that is exactly what I was hoping, like to hear. Is like just like I, I want people to come hang out that, you know, have not invested the time into Earthbound, but also people that love Earthbound. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Share fun secrets about the game. I have played Earthbound before. Uh, to completion, so I'm not worried about spoilers, but do consider people in, in the chat. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, this is going to be a good time. It's going to be a lot a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Onet police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. <laughs> Don't panic! It's just a, what meteorite? Meteorite that, who? Fell? I just want to, what? Go home and play Tears of the Kingdom. He didn't say that, really, did he? Uh, Derpy McSquirtle, by the way, brings up a really good point. It is not Mother's Day in the UK, so all of you have no excuse then to hang out, right? Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I am going to try to be the first to get there. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, you're not going to. You're going to fail. Let's go to the neighbor's house. Pokey, picky, porky. Porky's house. Pokey's house. Also, just another another instance of, like, call him whatever you want. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm I'm watching the, watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Of course they did. Porky, Picky. Oh, Picky's the brother. Porky and Pokey. Maybe, is, are those the only two name variations? Is that is that all it is? I forget. <laughs> Brownie says, I've never played Earthbound and I have no intentions of ever playing Earthbound. So spoil away. Don't worry. We won't do that. There are enough people probably here in the chat that don't want that. So um, I won't. I'm not going to be shouting spoilers. But 
don't worry about my spoiler related feelings. I've told people in the past that I'm allergic to spoilers, but in this case, I'm good. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto, kid. There's a meteorite. Goodness, you psycho. <laughs> a meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm, I'm hungry. I hate my job. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Uh, it's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Take this. Uh, even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? See, like the writers of this game, uh, I think it was, uh, or the translators at least, were Dan Osen and Marcus Lindblom. Lindblom? Uh, I learned about that from the Legends of Localization Earthbound book by, by Fangamer. It's an incredible read. Hey, you, don't you know what time it is? I'll probably go grab that book. It's on the shelf behind me back there. I'll probably grab it, not this stream, but maybe I'll read it before next stream again. So that way I know like some things to reference because there's so many fun tidbits in there about like how they change things um, when uh, localizing this game for the West for a Western audience. And uh, they take a lot of really cool creative liberties that it doesn't feel like censorship. It really, I mean, in some cases, yes, they do censor the game, but it's very necessary, I think, uh, uh, or it's understandable. But, uh, but yeah, otherwise they, they have a lot of fun making this game like make sense for, for kids in America. Whoa. Uh, hey, Ness. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. <laughs> it was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. Okay, Wario. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a bill, I'm a, I'm kind of like a, I'm like a billboard guy. <laughs> Why don't you check out my work? Uh, okay, so these are billboards. I always thought they were just signposts, but a billboard, sure, that's fine. Uh, Zach, by the way, in the chat, hashtag Gulpin's already saying, spoiler warning, this game has an ending. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. This game has a wild ending, and I won't say anything more about it than that, but Treasure Hunter. This is Lear, Lear X Adjurate's House. I probably butchered that name, but that won't be the first time I do it in this, in this game. That meteor looks, di looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh! Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? <laughs> no. No, you're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on. Help me out here, man. My god, this kid sucks. Honestly, it's it's not really his fault. Liar. Exaggerate. Ah, nice, Midnight. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, that's so good to hear. That so that's the name. We'll go back there in a, in a second, check it out. But uh, yeah, this kid, this kid, it was, he's got, um, it's a little understandable. Uh, he turns out the way he does, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll learn about that more. Clear out, out of my way. Whoops, my was, my was, <laughs> of, of way out, get my, try reading that five times fast. <laughs> Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. All right, Pokey. Oh my God, you little Pac-Man. Come on. Shh. Hey, hey, Ness. Uh, don't be rubbernecked. You're getting into the cops. Oops. Um, um, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Uh, tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, my God, kid. My God. I need to make sure I don't call this kid, like, obscene words on this stream. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to. I just uh, I just need to remember. <laughs> no, come on, man. Okay. I, isn't How do we... I don't remember. I guess I could consult the strategy guide, or we could just go home and see what happens. Because clearly he does not want to go with us. So right. Mother 3 would be different. Honestly, I, I don't think it's anything we had to do with... Uh, <laughs> With uh, that kid, though, I think he just turned out the way he did, you know. Mother 3 is inevitable. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you y'all like the uh, the, the po Porky. Oh, Porky, right. Porky, Pokey. Porky and Pokey, and Picky's his brother. 
uh, it's kind of like my uh, I have a voice. I like to imitate uh, Bentley from Sly Cooper. Sly, um, don't forget that you gotta get the uh, you gotta get that piece from the thing. Um, I haven't played Sly in forever, so that's probably way off. But but you just kind of like you just make it really nasally. You just kind of yeah, it's it's just uh it's just that that's all it really is. You, then you add some little twist in there, and you make it kind of just sound like a little pretentious. You know, like um I got a really bad cold, but I also uh, I think I'm pretty cool. You know. Oh, there's mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. No. Oh, oh, Ness. You don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep, do you? <laughs> Welcome home. All right. All right, now we'll go to bed. All right, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you like the Bentley imp impression. I'll uh, Maybe I'll play some Sly one of these days or look up a video just to see how how he really sounds again. Yeah, uh, SGAK, uh, said, This game is surprisingly difficult, especially in the early parts. I think a lot of new players might struggle unless they do a bit of grinding. I completely agree. The first time I played this, I was like, what is going on? Why am I so bad at this game? But then when I played it the second time, I found a little trick. And I, I don't remember if it really was a trick or if it just was like, I don't know if it, I combined it with some grinding, but I'll share it with everyone once we get there. And I think it makes the game quite a bit easier from the starting starting point someone's knocking at the door what an annoying knock yeah i love how like sporadic the knock is my land who could be knocking at the door at this time of night would you answer it mom what are you doing i'm like 10 i've got fleas sucking me dry so i'm just gonna lie still for now you know <laughs> i've got fleas sucking me dry <laughs> so i'm just gonna lie still for now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use that like Clark Kent, uh, uh, what's the guy from Peter? Oh dang it! There he is. I wanted to hear more of the knocking. Hey, l l hey, l l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed, oh, good 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 evening, ma'am. Uh, you're looking lo lovely as usual. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're like the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was just gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Uh, I, I, what if I say no? <laughs> is that the path? Is that the bad? Is that the porky arc? <laughs> is that what happens? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Okay, good, buddy. Let's, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Oh, no problem here. All right. King? Yep, King still got fleas sucking him dry. <laughs> I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should probably take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this, too. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own <laughs> natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it, Ness. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Uh, in the room we go again. <laughs> Oh, Jeff Tradevania also mentions, yes, in this game, in the Super Nintendo version, you can rewind. I think it's by holding L and R? No. Uh, Z, L, and Z, R? Yeah, we can we can rewind. Um, I do kind of want to, eventually we'll talk, though. I don't know if I really want to use the rewind feature in the game. Maybe in rare instances. Because I, I would like to show you that I'm a real gamer. Um, but also... I would like to just not annoy people with that feature. I, I would totally take advantage of it if it was my own playthrough, but maybe we'll just see how everyone feels about the about the uh, the rewind. Uh, I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Ness got the cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Don't you want to hang out sometime? Or do you want to hang out? 
Do you want? Oh, do you want me to hang on to something? Uh, no, I'm fine. Be careful. All right, mom. What do you got? You got some homemade pizza for us? Yeah, sure. You're cool. <laughs> Whatever. What is it, <laughs> mom? Why would you say that? Are you just like trying to like tell yourself that I'm ready to leave home? Do you want me to go with you? I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Could you try dying to the Starman Jr.? Ooh, sure. We can we can see what happens there. <clears throat> all right, you all right. You go out in front. I'll follow at a safe distance. <laughs> you know we. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. I can't not think of it as Porky. Ness answered the phone. Hey, it's it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid, Ness. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. I know it'll go far in the 1990s. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like I feel like such a hero. What? Well, uh, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slight. That was the phone. Beep. Dad, you're so aggressive. The father is aggressive. <laughs> Midnight says. I like how mom gives you this big old grand speech about you being a natural born hero. And then the very next time you talk to her, she's like, yeah, yeah, you're cool. Whatever. That's so true. Very, very true. Okay. So now, now we're adventuring out in the world. I think the, oh, the roadblock is, is gone, but I don't think, yeah, we can't go this way. I don't think I've ever done that. Hey, Ness, so are you just going to wander around wherever you please? Don't you think we should focus on getting picky home? I don't want my, my I don't want my my parents to get mad at me again. Oh dog. Uh oh. King, King, save us! You engage the runaway dog. So okay, so Earthbound, if you didn't know, is a turn-based RPG where it does like the Dragon Warrior Dragon Quest thing, where like you face head on, you don't see your characters in battle. But originally, like back in the day, I did not like that about Earthbound. I think it was honestly it was a big thing for me where turn-based rpgs like had to have the character on screen like like in pokemon or in um in like final fantasy final fantasy 2 is slash 4 was the first rpg i ever played and in that game all the characters are on screen so like when i saw stuff like this and like dragon warrior i was like why would i why would i play these when i could play a game that actually shows my characters and my party on the screen excuse me ness realized the power of life up Nice. All right, so the the runaway dog has been decommissioned. Wait, oh right, we have twenty dollars in our wallet right now, but thirty dollars in the bank account. That's very nice. Very nice. Man. What happens? Hey Ness. Hey Ness. Like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You've got to bring Picky back before he comes home. I'll try to help you a little, but uh, we'll uh, not too much. Hey Mark. Uh. Uh, yeah, this actually did inspire Toby Fox. Uh, Toby Fox uh, was like a big fan of it back in the day from what I've heard. Um, uh, fan gamer, like who published Undertale, like physical copies and like does all like the, the merchandising and stuff. Um, I talked with Reed Young, who runs or is like one of the co-owners of Fan Gamer. And yeah, he was telling me that Toby has been around like the Earthbound days forever. Um, so I don't know if it's in writing anywhere that Toby was inspired by Earthbound, but it's it's a pretty, it's a very safe assumption, I suppose. But yeah, I, I feel like it's been confirmed in, in some some shape or form. I just don't know what source we would go with. But yes, the runaway dog became tame. That's all right. Now it's a it's a nice dog. Hopefully, it went to go find its home. Go back home, puppy. God, I love King. King's so cool. <laughs> Look at that butt. Bop, 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 bop. Oops. All right. There's nothing. There's no, like, you don't swing a sword or a baseball bat to, like, hit enemies in the in this game. 
You do get rewarded, though, for, like, attacking them from the backside. Like, surprise attacking them. The spiteful crow has a big grin on his face. King growled and lunged forward. 10, 10 HP of damage. Yeah, King, get it, get it. At this point in the game, you can pretty much just spam the A button and just attack and watch your HP. Um... Oh yeah, Midnight. Yeah, you agree? Having your party on screen goes such a long way. I love it whenever games do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Mother 3 does it in a really fun way. Like, they have, like, little sprites on the bottom, for anybody who doesn't know, that, like, it, it still uses this, like, similar, like, format for battles, but, but yeah, you get to see your a little bit of your character on the bottom, which is nice. Ooh, I almost turned around there. Yeah, so if you surprise attack an enemy, uh, she says, talks about this in the, uh, in the Earthbound dock. Um, which I have a link to in the description down below, and there will always be a link there because I will never stop talking about that video. Um, but yeah, in the documentary, she says Boundary Break uh, mentions that like he loved that little detail that when you surprise attack an enemy, there's like a green swirl that that uh, circles the screen, and uh, when you when you get surprise attacked, there's a red swirl. Hey Ness, I was too busy to investigate when I heard a child's voice on the on the hilltop. I don't remember how I voice this guy before so i'm just gonna I, we're restarting i'm a busy man but when i do a job i, I do it well i'm a man's man you know oh okay wah, 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 wah. that's a peanuts reference by the way i'm probably butchering it anyways but oh there he is there's picky probably picking his nose or whatever nope nope no problem here nothing at all do you think that's from the uh Oh, wait, no. I don't know what this is. What these... I've never considered that. Like, these look like other meteorite holes, you know. Maybe they're just, like, tiny rocks that hit the ground as well, but you don't you don't see them. Oh, if I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. <laughs> I like the idea that King is, like, just this... He's Maybe he's like Elvis. He's like, he's the king. Hey, hey, baby. That actually, that's like Johnny Bravo. Do the monkey with me. Actually, like, uh, Picky looks like a young Johnny Bravo, actually, anyways. Does anybody see that? Hey, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. I don't know if that was p Picky the whole time, but it, it turned out to be. Picky joins you. How, how swell. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? <clears throat> yes, you can hear it. Yeah, so in... in well, actually, I'll just let you hear it instead. I'll, lips, mouth shut. A bee I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of d eternal darkness, sanity's requiem. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, power, and I guess there's actually four. Friendship. The legends, the legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? I did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be.
Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz now, Buzz Buzz now joins you. Uh, so the fun fun fact that I, I could not that I wanted to spew out of my face was that Buzz Buzz I believe is a beetle in the Japanese version of the game, but then in America they they translated it to a bee. Or well, I guess actually he he even says he's not a bee, um, and he's not a fly either. He doesn't really say what he is, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, three boys. I, I'm, I'm not a, one of those, am I? Because I'm, I'm not into this kind of thing at all, really. Jeez, my heart is like almost pounding right out of my chest. Of course it is. Of course it is, Porky. Of course. Oh, I got stuck. Ness, buddy, I have something to tell you and only you. Can you come visit me alone later? That's right. We're going to go with, like, that voice for for that guy. <laughs> he does look a little crusty. Oops. I keep... I've been playing too much Tears of the Kingdom and, I guess, just other RPGs. I keep wanting to sprint everywhere. Oh, yes. Yes. Mrs. Minch does not like Buzz Buzz. It's very, very sad. <laughs> What sad? Oops. I didn't say that. <gasps> the Starman Jr. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. <laughs> You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plan, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Starman Jr. has some attitude for a little kid. All right. Um, so we're almost dead, but I don't think we have anything. Oh, we can eat a cookie. Oh, right. We were talking about maybe trying to die to see what happened. Oh, Ness's body was protected by the psychic, psychic shield. Ah, oh, Buzz Buzz, look at you. Mark, you do spy a CRT filter on this. I thought it'd be fun. It makes my eyes very happy. Ness ate the cookie. Ness recovered six HP. The Starman Jr. tried Sci-Fire. And it failed. <laughs> yeah. See you later. This Starman Jr. don't stand a chance. I love that we get to see Buzz Buzz and all his power. <laughs> Picky's chanting a magic spell? I don't I don't remember that. That's great. The Starman Jr. is on guard. Uh, sure, let's bash it. Let's see what happens. Buzz Buzz tried the Psy Shield again. Nice. Hmm. I didn't realize that the sh shield could become stronger. I thought it was just like a one flat level, so that's pretty cool. Pokey apologized profusely. Of course, because he's just a little pile of dirt. Poor kid. Yeah, that fire. That fire ain't got nothing on us. But look at listen to that beat. The Starman Jr. was defeated! Yeah, haha, <laughs> see you later. Ness is now level three. Somebody was asking earlier in the chat what level we were. We are level three. Also, yes, for anyone just tuning in, happy Mother's Day. I'd like to give a shout out to my, my mom, Melissa. Happy Mother's Day, mom. And my grandma, Mary. And my mother-in-law, not yet. Not, in, not like technically, but uh, Kathy, happy Mother's Day as well. All of the Mother's Day. All of the Mother's Day wishes in the U.S. here. The Monado uh, just said, I keep farting and it stinks of egg. Um, I don't... Is that a quote from the game that I just haven't reached yet? Because that would make sense, but... He came from... <clears throat> Ness, he came from 10 years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth. So listen. Listen close. All right. I don't want to do this, but we got we to gotta take Pokey and Porky and Picky and Pokey home. Listen to this awful music. If you had to listen to this like, like night and day, wouldn't you probably like grow up to be... Maybe not so happy. 
All right. Um, now let's talk to Dad first, I guess. <coughs> I'm, I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Uh oh. I think I was reading that 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 sound actually was like way more violent in the uh, in the Japanese version of the game as well. Like maybe there's like an audio of like someone yelling very slight, like Aah! like like in Mario Maker. I don't know, but I think I was reading that. By the way, I should I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Or more. <laughs> well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty, as you can see. My husband is too much lenient with the children. Oh, well. Nice guys finish last, I suppose. Ugh. Ugh. I think it's a dug beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Buzz Buzz, no! <laughs> Poor guy. The music just... It's just gone. Buzz Buzz. Please. Wake up! Wake up, Buzz Buzz! Please! Oh! You're alive! I didn't even press the A button. <laughs> <laughs> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure, Ness. See you. Oh, before I go, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and... Multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? No. I, I, I see. I apologize. I guess I didn't explain it <laughs> well enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are a very intelligent young man. And uh, the pain, everything is getting so dark. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, by the way, I'm almost gone. But did you, but did you want to hear the story? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Good. Oh, oh good. Oh, thank, thank God. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Buzz Buzz is dead. Ness got the soundstone. I need to take a breath. That like pooped me out. I felt like I was dying. Was Did Buzz Buzz die or was it secretly me? Uh, Hangtime in the chat asks, when is the DS stylus from Midwest Gaming Classic going to happen? They are still waiting. Luke, I will get you that DS stylus pickup one of these days. Bum, 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 bum. This is one of the best songs in the whole game. Not because it starts at the beginning. It's just so happy. Very good, very good beat. There's nothing even back here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure there's not. 
But that's the fun of this game. I've played this... Yeah, I, I've played this game before. Two times. I've played all of this game two times. Or this part. But there's a lot that I... Earthbound is one of those games... Like, Reed talked about this in the documentary. This is one of those games where... There are just, like, so many layers and, like, alternative options that, like, just little tiny paths that you can find and little, like, extra bits of, of dialogue. And there's so much dialogue in this game that there's no way I'm going to remember all of it. So, like, even already, like, right at the beginning of the game, there was something already that just, like, completely threw me off. And it's great. I think, I think it was the police officers talking about, like, how they hate their job. So good. So once we get done beating up this snake, this coil snake, we're gonna head down to Onet, Onet, Onet. Maybe I'll, I'll refer to it as all of its names every time, if I can remember. Ooh, Beta 64, Beta 64 is great. I got to hang out with him once in a podcast for Arlo, or uh, for the Arlo cast, back when Arlo did that. Beta 64 and I got to hang out for it. And that was really fun. It was a real good time. He's a, he's a silly guy. I mean, both Arlo and Beta64, but both very silly. Hangtime says, dialogue is probably my favorite part of the game. I absolutely agree. And that's what's going to make, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to really want to do voiceovers for this this game. Uh, but it's been, it's been fun because, like, now we're, from this point on, we're pretty much, like, besides Dad... And then maybe some of like the, the main party characters. We're not going to be really seeing a lot of the same people over and over again. You're just constantly meeting new people. The library, I don't think I'm really going to spend much time in here. Because I think this is like the tutorial building. Hi, kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Here's a map. Onet, Onet, Onet isn't the only thing on the map. All the info there, all the info is there. Except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the A button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the X button located near the top? <laughs> Ness got the town map. I, this game, like, breaks the fourth wall all the time, too. It's so fun. At Giant Step, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step. It's territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. ba 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 this is a little Friday the 13th kid. A man of few words. It's useless talking to him now. Oh, okay. Kind of. Is um is music too loud? Is it too quiet? Am I too quiet? Can anything used to be like evened out or turned up a bit more? Let me know. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? You sensed them? Are you psychic, kid? I recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that it is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Yeah, so this, like every Final Fantasy game, at least like the early days ones, would always have like a house with like just multiple NPCs that you could go talk to and they would just like teach you about the game. Maybe Pokemon even has that now that I think about it. Uh, but uh, this is this is that place. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned that to use a green payphone, it costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad. I'm so glad I read that book. Gosh, me too. I'm so glad you told us about that. This kid's just like, <sighs> you're bothering people. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn. You learn from reading books. We learn from talking to you about the books that you're reading. How else are we supposed to learn? Volume seems good. Thank you. That's very that's very lovely to hear. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. Hmm. I bet this stuff will be on the test. Okay. I was curious if they had secondary dialogue, but they do not. By the way, so everybody knows, I think the goal of my stream today, or our stream rather, is to try and quiet. 
is to try and beat is to is to leave Onet on it one it. And that's not too that's not doesn't take too long. So I think we'll probably stream for like another hour, maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'm in here. <laughs> don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Everybody's like at least once in your life has like everybody has like a bathroom story. And I love how like just so much of there's just so much crammed into this game. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking. There's so many just like real life scenarios injected into this game that it's just so human. I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there it was just fluttering there. I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly? I heard that if you get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares just fly away. Just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I just love talking about it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all the talk about lovely butterflies. I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onet on at one at. I heard it I heard it possesses a special power. <laughs> Bro is gatekeeping a bathroom. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's funny. Uh, then you would expect Ness to be homeless or... Oh, I guess I didn't read the above. Oh, Joseph, though, says, Thanks for playing this, Zeon. This game deserves so much more attention. Honestly, I completely agree. And I hope that this stream that we're doing just... Honestly, like, if it gets one person to play the game or to, like... If there's one person out there that, like, hangs out and watches every single stream or watches a chunk of the streams and gets, like, a lot of enjoyment out of it, like, we've already won, you know? Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? <laughs> Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. There's the mole. I am not. Oh, uh, it's kind of like Rossetti. How would Rossetti? I guess he's not a bad guy. I am not your enemy. I am simply your average run of the mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or your side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV... <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, um, the world in front of you, you know, you know. It'll show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack yourself. In that case, your TV... <laughs> Oops. Whoops, I'm looking at me again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that way you always have the advantage. Thank you, Handy Mole. Giant step. North at the top of the mountain. Danger. Do not enter. Oh no. Oh no. It's a dog. What are they called again? Uh runaway. Runaway dog. If there were five of these dogs in a pack, um, would that make them the Runaway Five? Does anybody remember what the Japanese name of the Runaway Five are? I cannot remember offhand. Also, thank you for all the, the, the confidence about the voices. I was very intimidated. If you turn up the game sound, the high notes will bleach out, bleach out Z on his voice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Speak of the devil. That was very nice. <laughs> Very, very nice, coincidentally. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, I'm happy to be voicing things. My throat's a little, a little sore today. Ah, oh, Tanzura Brothers. Yes, thank you, thank you. I haven't seen it myself. Just, a, just a rumor. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so <laughs> we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. Frank Cifaldi? That, is that him? <laughs> What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are way too expensive. So I think the point is we have to get into the traveling entertainer's shack. That's kind of the goal. Do not enter. See, like, that's the that's the coolest thing with this game is like, yeah, this sign says don't enter. But like, 
you can also just click it and read it instead. I think it's fun. Like there, there's just so much like random dialogue. Like I could, I could, I could click this tree and maybe there would be like something that is said. Um, so if anyone knows like of any like weird stuff like that in this game, like when we're just walking around places, please let let us know. I'm trying. I'm doing my best to pay attention to the chat. Sometimes it moves a little fast and there's a lot of dialogue to read and stuff. But look at we made it. We made it to one it on it own it. We did it. Maybe we should take a picture every time in front of a sign like this. We'll take our own fuzzy pick, pick uh, fuzzy pickles pictures. Say cheese. You know, cheese is my favorite food, so. The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. <laughs> Car! Ah! Nest dug around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There is a hamburger inside. Mm -hmm. Nest takes it. Heck yeah, you do. It's probably a perfectly good burger. Look, it's we're right next to the burger shop. It's not like... It's fine. It's totally fine. Ooh, Animal uh, Bancho in the comments or in the chat says, Xeon, do you prefer Earthbound or Mother 3? Impossible question, I know, but still. Uh, you're right. It, it's it's a fairly impossible question, um, For but I do think that Mother 3 is it's better in a lot of ways. Uh, like the, the combat is a lot more refined. Uh, the music, even though there are... The, the worries about the the legalities behind it. I think the soundtrack's pretty pretty bopping. Uh, I, Earthbound soundtrack is fantastic too, um, but I think the story also hits you in different ways. Like I really like Earthbound's adventure feels like like you are the main character, but in Mother Three it feels like you're reading a book. So I think I they're both just so different. I don't think one is really like statistically. Like, factually, like, maybe statistically, Mother 3 would be the, like, I think if a computer was reviewing a game, I think Mother 3 would be the better game. Um, but they both have so much heart, and they both have a lot of reasons to to love them. You know, they're just they're just so different. So, um, Mother 3 is my favorite, though, of the two. But it's also because I, like, made really good memories, like, playing it with my buddy Zach, and, and like, us, like, chatting after each chapter, and, and, like, going through that journey together. And the way that the story in Mother 3 hits you is, like, just... It's unlike anything else. Um, where Earthbound's like is just it's just a fun ride pretty much the whole way. So Oh yes, this is one of my favorite parts. Ah hi, come in, come in. What can I do for you today? Can I help you find something? Uh so we're not gonna buy anything yet, but we will soon. Do you need anything else from me? No. You don't wanna buy anything from me? Oh you hurt my feelings. That is not my favorite part. This dog is my favorite. Woof, woof. I'm Rafini, the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Roof. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or lesser than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Rough. I thought you'd like to know. <laughs> now it's time to become a regular dog again. <laughs> uh, I just, I'd like, they could have just put another human in there that like told us that, but instead it's a dog. Hey, I know your hard earned cash is important to you, but you should probably call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Oh my god, no, please. Uh, I'm gonna withdraw some money first. Money, money. Oh, cool, so dad put some more money in there for us. That's awesome. So we get money. I can't remember if we get money at the end of battles or if we just get money from dad. I will find out eventually, but let's with, ooh, actually, I don't, I don't wanna withdraw all of it yet. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let let's do it. Let's do it. I wanted to kind of show you how hard the enemies are at the beginning of the game here without uh, having all of the uh, equipment. But instead, we're just gonna get the equipment and see what happens. 
Let's see if we can trash them. Okay, so let's get the... Um, yeah, let's get the T-ball bat. That'll be better than the cracked bat. Cool, so 9 to 13, so that was great. Yeah, buy that cracked bat. And then we're going to buy the... The, ba, 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 the baseball cap. And we're going to equip that. This is defense change from 2 to 7. So that... That, I think, is the trick at the beginning of the game is, like, to go buy stuff. I remember the first time I played this, I did not. And so I had to do a ton of grinding, and it was really frustrating. Um, I don't think we have enough money for anything else. Oh, yeah, and so the yo-yo, I'm pretty sure that's just a weapon. I could be wrong. But uh, if we gain some more money, we can come back and buy the cheap bracelet, too. But we don't have to. <laughs> uh, hello, Rafini. Yes, I'm so glad. Everyone say hello to Rafini in the chat. Please. He needs to know that uh, that you that you still that we all still care about him. Does this imply Rafini died and then a game designer got sucked in and is now possessing the husk of the dog? Uh, potentially. I, I mean, it could just be like a Mario Odyssey scenario as well, where uh, you know the game designer captured Rafini and is just like hanging out in there for a little bit and like we'll leave you know once we get past this town. But well, I don't know. That's a very good question. Ooh, look at alluding to the future here. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paul is really special. Why is she so special? I forgot to ask. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. So then, okay. So the mayor. We haven't re met the, the mayor yet. Oh, yeah. Look, look at all the, look at all the Rafini in the chat. Yeah, I love to, I love to see that. Thank you. You're all, all, all fantastic. Keeping his memory alive, even though he's not dead. Welcome to beautiful Onet, 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 the wildflower of Eagle Land. So this mayor has like put up all these signs around town, and they're ridiculous. Uh, that one was pretty. That was pretty nice. The flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. Um, didn't we already? We already went to the drugstore. Oh yeah. So here's another sign from the mayor. If you have any trouble, consult your kind-hearted mayor. Don't forget, he's very kind. Ah, yes, I can't wait for us to meet the kind-hearted mayor. He's just the sweetest fellow, always looking out for the villagers. City Hall is to the east, you know, where the sun rises. Ah, Midnight made a really, really nice comment. Or just like a really nice thought about the game is what I mean to say. Uh, Midnight says, I do believe the beginning of Earthbound is the hardest. I like that thematically, the game gets easier when you have friends by your side. That is very, that is so true. It's just a very great metaphor, or a great way of like looking at life and, and at this game that I never would have considered. I do, I, I see what you mean though. Like the, the beginning parts of the game can be like a little hard and, and like kind of a bit of a bummer that you're like on this trip without anyone, but... I moved here from the from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there is the, what is the name? Um, Polar Star Preschool. The preschool is at Paula's house. Paula uses, what is it called? Um, magic? Weird. Weird magic. <laughs> uh, Daniel in the chat says, uh, Gotta hand it to Zian. The commitment to play this live stream just 72 hours. From Tears of the Kingdom launch. I I know. This is this is I hope this the fact that Tears of the Kingdom just came out 72 hours ago. And it's all I can think about. But I still wanted to play Earth on Mother's Day with all of you. And all of you are here as well, hanging out. Maybe you're playing Tears of the Kingdom. If anybody is, let us know. Don't tell us where you are. No spoilers. None of that. None of that in this house. <laughs> but uh I'm curious if anyone's playing it right now. Because I, not that I wish I was, I'm happy doing this. I'm very happy, but my goodness. I love Earthbound. Clear, quiet, clear, quiet, and be and beautiful. Onet run by Mayor Perkle. Is that his name? Perkle? Perkle. I thought it was Pickle for some reason. Oh, and no need to thank me. Nobody has to thank me for playing Earthbound. I'm, I'm, I'm thanking you for being here. And for giving me an audience to play Earth on with? My goodness. You're the real heroes. I just... I just want to let you know that I, I still... I wanted to do this. This was my idea. <laughs> well, actually, it was Paul's idea. Paul was like, hey, you should do an Earthbound stream. And I was like, 
Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should do that. It, what if I did that on Mother's Day? Um, so that's 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 what happened. So thank you, Paul. Oh yeah, the point overlooking the sea. The point overlooking the sea has beautiful scenery. It's over that away. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. Ah, nice. Zach is playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. That's very good. All cool, Stan. Thank you for filling us in on, on your, your life and the fact that you're playing Tears of the Kingdom. That's amazing. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a house, own a luxurious second home. Breakpoint Real Estate. <laughs> Does this house look good? You could buy it for only $7,500. It has an ocean view. And the sunsets are beautiful, I must say. <laughs> Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Yeah. You can't afford $7,500? It was a waste of time talking to you. This is also one of my favorite just like places to overlook. It's just like, uh, it's just people, just people hanging out. Thinking about the future. Thinking about buying that house. Someday owning it. Thinking about what kind of music that person's playing down there. How sweet. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in this scenic spot. I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. I actually did forget that he plays music. Aha, Victini, uh, Victini asks, Zeon, didn't you say you stayed in Ana as a kid to save up to buy the house? That wasn't me, but I'm so glad you remember that. That was um, Stephen George, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, but uh, he is, uh, him, him and Mal, his wife Mal, were in the documentary. And yeah, he talks like in depth. I almost remember like, he like said some of them like, I bought that house. He, like, it, it's, it's like that quote is still just like ringing out in my memory very, very well. Uh, we're staying away from the sharks, by the way. You might have seen them up there, but I, I want to do a bit more exploring first before we go there. Don't talk to me. I'm on duty. Until I have Chief Strong's permission, I can't let you through. The road to Tucson is closed, sir. You can't just squeeze through roadblocks either. Don't even think about it. Onet is famous for roadblocks, don't you know? I'm trying to just do my job. Let me be. Oh, oh, the road's closed again? It's Onet's claim to fame. Of course it's closed. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, they just like to put up roadblocks. That's like, there's just, just like weird, there's weird reasons for everything in this game. And it's so, it's so great. And the, the developers, I think, I think Dan, and, or the translators, Dan and uh, Marcus, I think only had like six months or a year to translate this game too. It, they didn't really like, it's not like they just sat around like thinking of ideas forever. Um, I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin board he encounters. Oh my gosh, they're talking about us. Then he says, check a Rooney. Is that you? No. No? Chat? Have, have I been doing that? Do I have a split personality? I hope not. The bakery. I can't remember if we should uh, buy some food to heal or if we should go to like stay at an inn or something like that or the hotel. Seems like every bakery has been making lucky sandwiches these days. They're kind of for like fortune cookies, except you can win stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's a sandwich. Okay, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. Anyway, the best thing that can happen is recover PP. I just wish I knew what PP was. Don't worry. You don't. If you don't know what it is, don't ask. Don't worry about it. I like cottage cheese on bread. You haven't tried it? It's the latest craze in culinary circles. Oh, there's like a really fun translation difference with that too that I just don't remember. But ugh, I'll, I'll have that book. I'll take. I'll bring that book down here next time so we can look at the, the legends of localization translations if people want to hear it that is i want to tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup but i won't because i don't want to bother you with a story that has nothing to do with your adventure if i keep talking about unrelated stuff you might start ignoring important messages it's important for you to talk to people also a person might give you a different message depending on when you speak to them Ooh, i wonder what that means though like i wonder how far that really goes you know hi may i help you what can i get you Let's, um, you know, I'm, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip all of that. And we're just gonna go, we're gonna go to the hotel. And then I think we can go, well, yeah, let's go to the police. Because we gotta go talk to them first before taking on the sharks. 
I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Man, I am s steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Alright. Alright, buddy. Man, I am steamed. The townspeople are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots break out or people start acting wild. So we police are being ultra cautious, you know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I will go back to the bakery and talk to them. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. <laughs> I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Don't you believe me? This music is, like, very... It's uncomfy. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. Ha! <laughs> I, was, I was clearly just joking. Ooh, the upcoming Mother Direct. I actually forgot about that. I watched last year's. When is that? Does anybody know? I should like, I should probably actually put that on my calendar so that way I don't forget to tune in for a live. That's so cool that they put so much effort into that. I really appreciate Like the community is just so wild. Okay, so yeah, hotel is what we want. Pop, pop. Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have clean sheets. The rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. We're going to call dad. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $45 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $0 in the bank. <laughs> well, EXP to get to the next level, you need seven. Anyway, do you need anything for me? All right. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight, kid. Ness, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Click. Beep, 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 beep. All right. How much does it cost to stay at the one at on it own it hotel? A one night stay will cost you $35. Is that exactly? All right. Let's just do it. Let's get it out of the way. And then we're going to go fight. We're going to fight some crime. Ooh, they just uploaded the teaser today. I did not even see that. That's awesome. Ooh, this song is very nice, though. Very good song. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. Just saying. That's awesome. I will check that out then. Thank you. Yeah, for anyone aware, the Mother Direct is a direct where like a, all of these different fans of the the series get to share a look at like different projects whether it be like music or uh video games that are like inspired by or uh or like uh you know like updates like uh remade versions of these games and uh yeah it's really cool that the community like just gets to put so much effort into this and and does you know it just shows how much people really love these love these games actually um I don't know what project uh, I I don't know what I'm going to see in there, I guess. I was paying attention to like Oddity for a while, and uh, uh, my buddy Harry actually worked on a bunch of the art for that. And so I would love an update on that, but also, I don't know. I don't think we've heard anything from that in a while. So, yeah, same, Victini, same. Okay, so I think... Oh, yeah, here's the map. I love this map. I actually, like, in order to... Like I for the the thumbnail of this video, I actually I used the map and I like paused it right on the moment where like the food isn't shown, uh, in when I was capturing gameplay and I used that for the background uh, of the, uh, of the, of the thumbnail and I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but I was stoked about it. I was stoked that it worked. Oh shoot, the sharks! Here we go. So hopefully, since we have the better gear and we have full HP now, hopefully we'll be fine. Do we have any sigh? Oh, we just have, we have heals. So we have life up. That just restores health. It's the skate punk called for help. Oh no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm trying to show people that we can beat this game. 
Uh, this is not this is not looking good. Maybe honestly, I haven't grinded at all really. So maybe that's something we just go gotta gotta go do a little bit. Okay, all right. But now can we life up? Ooh, ooh. So the other thing is the rolling HP though. So mm, nice. Okay, sweet. Awesome, awesome. But it, it sucks because now we're back to where we were. So maybe the skate punk is what we need to defeat first. Because maybe he's the one who keeps calling for help. I don't know if they all call for help, though, honestly. Like, I don't know if they all have the ability to. Smash! I realized I just reacted to that very delayed, by the way, if that was weird. But that was sick. Okay, we're just going to use life up again. Because we're going to get wrecked otherwise cool so actually i don't even think we need to fight these sharks outside either so the cool thing is like we're technically grinding right now that i think about it so uh oh this might be the end of us though okay we're fine oh my gosh really okay come on come on please yes oh that was all of our all of our PP, though, just gone. All right. Yeah, you keep missing with that hula hoop. Yes. Okay. We're making progress now. I don't remember if we've damaged the Pogo Punk yet. Yes! 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 Okay. All right. That was a train wreck, but we leveled up. Did we level up? Tw no, just once. Gus went up by three. Oh, baby. Maximum HP went up by two. Ness realized the power of hypnosis. So the other cool thing about this game that I will say is that uh, when you die, you don't uh, you don't lose your progress. So as long as we've we've saved and we've we've gone to the hotel. Oop, we're right back at the bakery. Um, I'm trying to talk to that lady now to see what she says, but. So, yeah, the cool thing is you don't lose your progress. You just, like, re... It's unlike a Final Fantasy game. You just respawn at the nearest place you saved or whatever, but you still have all the EXP that you had before. You do lose items. So, like, if you're trying to grind, it's important to, like, not waste all of your... Um, waste all of your heals. But, so, in this case, we'll just see what happens. This is not looking good. Two enemies hit us, so that's probably very bad. But, oh, yeah, this doesn't look good. Um, I'm just gonna probably let us die here, sadly. But at least we'll see what happens when we die. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oops. There it is. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, Vic, I, I do. I, Vic, Vic was saying in the, in the chat here that they like that uh, the enemies become tame instead of being like, up. Oh, Let's just leave leave the kid alone. Ah, Mother Encore. Yeah, I do remember hearing about that, too. All right, so let's see. We should have full health. Probably not full PP, though. I think we need to actually stay in order to do that. Oops. Status. That's what we want. Okay, yep, so we don't have more PP. But maybe we can... <gasps> Rafini, is that you? But wow, don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. Oh, good thing too, we didn't um, uh, we didn't have any money. And I think you lose money when you're fighting. So uh, good, oh yeah, so we have $1. So we did, we lost one $1 from that fight because we had two, so that's good. And yeah, we need to get in there and fight that guy. I don't remember his name offhand. Oh yeah, that's Frank. Frankie. Oh, and there's a Game & Watch on the... You want to beat Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? I've never talked to one before. I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, hey. Uh, Kata, Katatonic in the chat uh, did a super chat. A far-fetched dream, but I would like to see this game get the Link's Awakening remake treatment. I think that aesthetic would fit Earthbound perfectly. You are right on the money. I really like hope Grezzo or some team is able to tackle this. Look at that. We beat it. We beat the first one. Or right, we beat, beat beat this enemy, no problem. I completely agree. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. This is very kind. 
Um, and I, I would I would love to see it. Hey, maybe Nintendo's watching and they're like, oh yeah, that's a that's a pretty good idea. Do you want to start a fight or what? You engage the skate punk. <laughs> maybe that we leveled up. Maybe I guess now we technically have higher defense. So. Oh no! Come on, skate punk. Go away. Take your skating somewhere else. Yeah, Aerith, yeah, I saw there was that, um, uh, Did You Know Gaming, or she says actually, was telling Did You Know Gaming that he would love to see them, them cover the, uh, the Mother 2, like, Bandai, I think it was a Bandai Namco pitch, I think is what he was saying. Level 5 now, yeah! Okay. So, honestly, like, for those of you that have tried playing Earthbound, does this seem like it's a bit easier now that we have the equipment and stuff, or does it still seem like it's just as potentially frustrating and difficult, you know? Um, I'm curious to know what you think. Are there any more sharks around or otherwise? Okay, so we gotta go inside game now. Oh, there's one, cool. Oh, they respawned. Yay, gotta love a respawn. Oh, I think it's because we leveled up. We got some PP back. Mm, shoot, yep, we died though. Darn, darn it. That's okay. We have that XP, EXP that we got. So we're level five now. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna check the strategy guide here and see if it recommends anything fun. The Earthbound Travel Guide, which if you didn't know, is available. Um, I'm also, I forgot to turn on this light. I'm gonna turn that light on a little bit. Uh, the Earthbound Player's Guide is available on Nintendo's website. You can download like the full PDF yourself and just use it like on an iPad or your phone while you play the game. And it's incredibly adorable. Like there's just so much effort put into this game, way more, I, I feel like, than the standard strategy guide you would see back in the day. So yeah, it's just a really, it's a really cool book. Yeah, here they look at they they show the all the items that we bought at the Onet one at Onet Onet One at drugstore that we were at. There's just a lot of really cool, really cool details in here. They talk about the bakery. So good. So 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 good. Alright, so let's uh let's get let's get back to it. Oh yeah, I did want to check. I think we can buy the. Uh... Yeah, let's go see how much money we have now. Because if we have enough, we can go buy. Nice. Yep, yeah, we do. We can go buy the bracelet from the drugstore. Let's just take out a hundy because I think it's like ninety-eight. Does anybody else ever call one hundred dollar bills uh, hundies? By the way, uh, there is an episode of We Bear Bears. Which is just like the silliest. It's like right up there with Chowder as like one of my favorite like two thousands era cartoons. Um, but they like they get a, they get a hold of like a one hundred dollar bill in this cartoon. It's this three these three bears, real bears, and uh, they like lose it and uh, they keep calling it a hundy. And it's just the ah, oh, it's the funniest thing. And so ever since then, I've like. I tried to drill the thought of like, you should, Zeon, you should call a hundred dollar bills hundies. And now it's just so natural. I'm so glad. Bop, 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 bop. Yep. 10 to 15. That was wild. Aw, uh, Chowder's, Mung, Mung, I knows what I wants for Kanishmish. Chowder's so good. I showed uh, my partner Chowder like a couple nights ago. And she did not find it as funny as I did. Um, and even watching back, too, I think I was kind of like, you know, some of these jokes aren't as funny as I thought they were when I was 20. Um, but I still uh, I still have a lot of fun watching it. And I want to, I should, I didn't know, Chowder's on Hulu in the U.S. here. I think it was Hulu that we watched it on, but. Yo, did you see that? That attack just did one damage to Ness. Did I, was that, did I see that right? Yeah, that's right. No one comes to help the skater punks. Okay, 10. I swear I read that as one, though. No one's going to help you, buddy. 
so scared. A little scared, Skater Punk. What? Come on. Aw, oh, Paul stopped in. Can't stay ZZ, but happy, happy Earthbound Day, bro. Hope you've been a good boy, and Mr. Saturn will bring you all the presents you deserve. Uh, I already have all the Earthbound presents I could ever need, so thank you. Thank you, though, Paul. Thanks for coming to hang out. Ooh, let's dig in the trash can. Maybe we'll find some tokens for the game store. Or the arcade. There is a can of fruit juice inside. Ness takes it. You know, honestly, how much HP do we have now? Um, there's a button. There we go. You can press the select button or the minus button on the Switch controller to check your health on the spot. It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd better just beat it, punk. And that's when we say, no, you're the punk. You're the pogo punk. It's not me. Look in the mirror. Ness attacks 20 HP of damage. Yeah, it was 1 HP. Yes! Okay, so level 5 and all of the items from the drugstore make you invincible, it looks like. Inside there was a hamburger. Ness took it. He took the burger. I'm curious. Um, how many of you... Mm, how many of you have played Earthbound before, actually? I'm going to start a poll. Mm, yeah, I'm going to start a poll. I'm very, very curious. And there's no right or wrong answer to this either. You're here hanging in the chat and there are way too many games in the world to play all of them, you know? So never feel bad about not playing something. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious how many people vote on this in the end or how many people, you know, submit. And then I guess I won't entirely know how many. I could do some math, but I just want to know. I want to know who's played the game and who hasn't. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. No, I want you to kick my butt. Uh, uh, you sound like a real whiner to me. Yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, we can't play the games. Hey, kid. Do you want to become a member? Mm, yeah, yeah. Come back after you finish Earthbound. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we have to go upstairs. Maybe we have to beat up more dudes. Oh, the kid. Frank is an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. I think it's just like a knife. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. <laughs> when you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you re ready to get it on, Spanky? What? That was weird. Oh, hey. Uh, some of you are, are talking about Mother. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, my friend always calls a $5 bill a five spot. That's great. Uh, my favorite Mother game is Mother 3. But I do love, I love Earthbound as well. Um, nice. Midnight played it, lived it, loved it. Uh, big boy question, pencil rockets or bottle rockets? Ooh, um, those are just, I haven't played, it's been forever since I played with Jeff. And are those all accessories that Jeff can only use? I don't recall. I would probably say pencil rockets because it sounds more fun, but um, I stopped pretty much, my last playthrough I stopped at Jeff. So my my memories of Jeff moments are a little foggy. Uh, Cactus Man finished all three Earthbound games. Uh, Samuel played it for the first time in 2001, bought the real cartridge on eBay for 250 at the time and never regretted it. Yeah, it's the, the game is it's always been so expensive. It's crazy. Amir, I think Amir's funny. There are like two songs that I've like really enjoyed by them, but otherwise I think they're just kind of, I don't know. That's really mean. I just, I don't know. I've never, I never really got into them. Um, never. It looks great though. I, Eric, Eric's never played Earthbound. Yeah. And it's, by the way, it's on Nintendo Switch Online. Like that's very, uh, hopefully it's evident, but that's what we're playing this through. So, uh, Trevor, I bought Earthbound at Best Buy when I was a kid for $10. I never had heard of it. It was the big box with the strategy tour guide inside. I played the heck out of that thing on my Super Nintendo. That's so cool because it, it's what, Earthbound's one of those things. Like I was saying, it's been expensive forever. And obviously we all have like, like I got a, I got Fire Emblem Awakening uh, at Target once for, I think it was like $13 on 3DS. 
And that sounds like a, no way, that can't be, but I've got like the receipt to prove it and everything if I needed, but, um, but buying Earthbound for $10 sounds like no way. So that's super cool that you, that you actually did that. Uh, Daniel, never played it until it came out on Switch. I had so many opportunities to play it, but this time I did. Nice, I'm, and you loved every second. That's so great. Uh, thing is, I never played it as a kid since not many chances here in Europe to play it back then. Yeah, Daniel, that, that is a bummer though. Like it's, it's not your fault. Like how are you, what were you supposed to, what were you supposed to do? Uh, it was such a surprise when it came out on the virtual console on Wii U. I already had the game, but I had to buy it again. Yeah, that was where I first bought it as well. Um, I think I'd played it like with a friend or something back in the day before that, just a little bit. But yeah, Wii U was the first place I tried to play it as well and just really fell off. But then having it handheld and being able to play it anywhere was um, was really nice. Oh, and uh, Aerith says that bottle rockets and pencil rockets are the same item. Uh, that's just how they're called in the original Japanese version. That's sweet. Um, and word up, word up Russia, I also, I, I enjoyed your room collection tour video in Nintendo Life. Oh, thanks. That's so cool. I would love to do more of those. Like, it'd be cool. Maybe I just have to have somebody come over and, like, actually want to hang out for, like, 30 minutes and hold a camera for me or whatever. And we'll just, we'll, we'll talk about the things in the room. But it's a little a bit harder to do, like, a room tour by myself. But I would like to do something like that. Because if you know me, I have a story for everything. So... Is this free with the membership? As long as you have the the base Nintendo Switch Online membership, that's like, I think it's like $3 a month or like $20 for the year, you do get Earth on with it. It's part of the Super Nintendo Nintendo Switch Online package. <laughs> spit, 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 saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own. Wow. All right. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Hey, kid, do you want to become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what you were saying. Thank you. I'm so glad we're doing so much better. Like, already. When we first went to go attack, you know, fight all these, these sharks, I was like, oh, gosh. I was so confident, and then we were just getting trashed. And now it's, uh, now it's been a cakewalk. Frank's going to mess us up here, though. Um, and that's fine. Totally fine. Ah, uh, Samuel, that's very nice. That, that's very cool. I bet your room looks sick. I put way too much effort into just, like, sorting my room. Um, it's, like, a fun thing, but also just crazy. I'm Frank. <clears throat> how should Frank... What, how would Frank talk? He would definitely talk like a con artist, right? Like, I'm Frank, and you are? Come on. Can't you at least say your name? Oh, and he's not gonna talk anymore? I can't even I can't even try? Look at him though, he is I wouldn't trust him with anything. Frank brandished a knife. There it is, and we died. That was great. Ah uh, yeah, Word Up Russia, you're right. The expansion pack for Switch is fifty dollars a year for one account. Or the family pack is like eighty dollars, and you can have seven or eight members on that. So you just do that with some friends, is kind of what I recommend. Um but, uh, yeah, then it's way cheaper. If you just split it with friends, I think then it's like, yeah, $10 a month for eight people, I think, with the family plan. But then you you have to go through the, the legwork of getting your friends to actually give you $10. And, um, and that, that, that can be a pain in itself, probably. So uh, let's save. Yes, it's your dad. <clears throat> $212. That's amazing. Thank you, dad. Cord. All right. Go ahead. Hit the hay, Dad. Hit it. Yeah, good. That would have been sad if we hit end. Once we beat Frank, though, then I think we'll we'll end the stream. So we'll only stream for another probably like 15 or 20 minutes, I'm thinking. And, dude, you guys, it's getting so hot this summer. It's not even June. And it feels like it's like 90 degrees in this room. I remember Alex was talking last year about how, like, warm out it was getting in the uk when he would like stream and make videos and i'm feeling that already here it's not i'm not stoked about it but we have some air conditioning units so i'll try to like maybe today i'll i'll run around after the stream and set those up but i'm curious okay so the stream or i did we did that that poll earlier 61 percent of people said they have played earthbound before 
So let me do calculator math quick. Oh, and my calculator opened up in my other screen, so I can't can't figure that out. So it means 40 of you roughly have played Earthbound before. So I'm curious, what is your favorite part about the game? Like, what did you think of it? Like, wh was it the dialogue? Was it the, you know, uh, the, the the battles? Was it, what, what was it? What pushed you to finish it? What'd you like about it? Yeah, also I hope it's not like sweltering for everyone else too. Oh yeah, and Mark's, Mark, yeah, you're up north. Oddity, yeah. We were talking about Oddity earlier, actually, Grady. I really hope that game still sees the light of day someday. It just, it it was, it was looked like there was a lot of effort that went into that. Smash that Pogo Punk. Okay, so I'm almost thinking, let's see how much money we have. We might need to go buy some items, or maybe we should just stay at the hotel again, actually, to fight Frank. Because otherwise he's going to... If he's doing 20 damage with his knives, he's going to trash us. Oops. I keep forgetting how to... Uh... We have $2 on us right now. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the hotel. Ba -ba 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 ba ba yeah, there are some other really fun references in this video, too, like, or some other localization changes that I was reading about, uh, like the the hospital. Um, I don't think we've gone to the hospital yet. But let's just take out $100. Uh, the hospital, they actually removed, in the Japanese version, there's like a red cross on the hospital sign. And in the North American version of Earthbound, they removed it for... Um, because they thought, like, the Red Cross might get mad, the organization. So they just, just to play it safe, they got rid of it. But we can take a walk past that when we go to the stores here in just a second, too. Oh, yeah, it's a bit south. Or it's a bit more south. Or it's, it's, it's southwest. So we actually, I think we were over there earlier when we were looking at the, at the house that we can buy for $7,500. <laughs> Also, let's let's withdraw some more money. Money, money, money! Your account currently shows a balance of sixty-five dollars. Real talk. God, listen to this game. So nice. It should be like a prerequisite that like everybody at Nintendo has to play Earthbound. Like, it's in the interview. Like, can you describe to me what Earthbound is? <laughs> Ah, Mystical Knight of Jack, AVGN's video on Earthbound pushed you to play it. I have not seen that video. I've heard a lot of people talk about it before, but I've never watched it. Maybe I should go do that after this. Oh, yes, yeah, so there's there's the hospital. No Red Cross. Um, there are some really cool, like, moments that they talk about in that Legends of the Localization book as well, where they have, like, early beta footage almost of, of uh, Earthbound, and they show off that, like, Sometimes in um, you could see some of the differences in like the beta screenshots even as well of like what things were gonna look like even in the North American version, but then they, they changed it up, you know. Um, I forgot that we could go find magic butterflies heal you. So we technically, I think we would have been fine if we didn't go to the and go and spend money at the hotel. But let's go to the bakery and get some food. If you could eat any food right now, what would it be? I think I would totally go for a donut right now. Honestly. Uh, Joe asks, I know it isn't Nintendo, but are you planning on grabbing Final Fantasy 16? I honestly can't wait. Um, I feel you. I'm right there. Kind of. I don't have a PlayStation 5. So I think once I get one, it'll probably be one of the first games that I get. Um, but yeah, just as of right now, I don't... Um, I won't be getting Final Fantasy 16, but it is on my list. I, I got Final Fantasy 15 day one and loved it. And and like, and then the game kind of spirals in the end. Um, and uh, and like the, the, Leviath the Leviathan fight still makes me mad to this day because I was hoping for so much more from it. But Final Fantasy 16 is doing so many cool things with like the summons or the Eidolons or Eidolons, whatever you want to call them. 
Um, and that has me really excited. So, yeah, I will be playing that game someday, just not now. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a, I have a, a Mother 3 sticker uh, that I got online for, uh, of like Klaus and, uh, and, uh, and Lucas hanging out with their mom on my water bottle now, just, just for the record. Banana strawberry milk, that sounds fantastic. All right, Frank. I'm Frank. You are... Come on. Can you at least say your name? Can you at least say your name? Come on, kid. But you know, I gotta make I gotta make some money. I got an arcade to run. You're right, Mark. It is a lot easier to get a PS5 now, but the it's just the money I think is kinda like we have an Xbox Series X and we just don't really use it that much right now. And I think I would be in the same boat with a PS5. I think there are definitely games we would play on it, but like I don't know, I have Psychonauts 2 and Xbox Series X, and I want to play that so bad, but I just haven't had the time. So I think Final Fantasy VII um, Part Two, though, that will be like the PS5. Like I have to be there day one with that. So that'll change me. That'll that'll push me. Hey, we don't have any offensive sigh yet, though, right? Yeah, just hypnosis. Frank said something nasty. Oh no, not your guts, Ness. Oh yeah, the cool thing though is there's a cool thing that happens once we once we beat Frank. Frankie. Baby. Ooh, 25. That was killer. Life up. Not my guts again. No. Oh, it went down by zero. That's good. Put those knives away, Frank. Ooh, look at that. We beat him. Ba, 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 ba. But those of you that have played the game know that this is not where the Frank story ends. I'm glad we leveled up though. That was that was nice. Bit a bit of extra PP. Ah yes, Hinawa. Fail proof. Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> and this is Frankenst Frankie Stein Mark II. He has a bunch of dialogue after we kick his butt though. The Frankie Stein Mark II. What did we learn? Oh no, no sigh that time. Generated a burst of steam. I almost feel like that means we need to defend. Yeah, okay, good. Yep, a burst of steam again. I think it is kind of like a charge attack situation. I don't recall for certain, but at semen consistently like that, so that's good. Wow, is that really just how you beat him? Is you just keep... That's so much easier than I remember. He's just like, he's on a track. It's great. I love this. Wow, look at it. He's so predictable. He's going to be dead in no time. Sorry, Frankie, but your robot is going to be toast. I wonder if we can get get it. Yeah! Take that, Frankie! Look at that. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So for real, if you're playing Earthbound, you started the game and you're like, man, this game's so hard. Just go buy all the equipment. Get all the equipment. The game doesn't get necessarily... E the game, the rest of the game isn't easy. It'll still be a grind, but you've got to... Uh, actually, I'm going to use Rewind here for this for a sec. The, the game will still be tough, but you've, the, the equipment is key. This is, this is my first defeat. Fail-proof? Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It, it seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer's Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, on it, one it, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've been stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. I forgot that we have more to the game than just this, too. <laughs> I'm going to see. I'm going to see how far we can get. I'm sweltering. I'm sweltering, friends. But I want to I wanna finish Onet, Onet, Onet. I want to do it. 
Come here, butterfly, please. Please. Cool. So we have to go talk to the mayor now, which makes sense. Mayor Perkle. Mayor Perkle. It looks like the mayor's face was at the top of the um the top of the town hall. Uh Ziki says, I just joined. How many game overs have you had in the early game? Mmm, three? Maybe? Maybe four. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take me a couple of hours to sign this paper. <laughs> you know. Oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? Why would you? Who is this? Why would you say that? Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of the sharks to stop the spread of the gang. Someone should shut down their gathering places, don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all of the bad influences on the children of Onet, Anet, Wonet. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Hum -de -dum, dum 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 She's probably like the same kind of person who's trying to like cancel Pokemon in the 90s and 2000s. Did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. Did I? I did ant mean to spoil it for you. Oh, that's right. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Is Mayor Perkle an ant? <gasps> Could it be? Since you beat up the sharks, you're free to... You're, you're, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Cool. Can't wait. Oops. I went back. Thank you so much for all your help. That's it? All right. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you, kid. You beat up the town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants, didn't you? Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you, kid. What? You want a key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving the key could really help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation... Please don't ask me to take any responsibility. Please, I can't do it. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm a very important man in these parts. Do you think I'm important? Uh, you're such a smart kid. You know that? Here's the key to the shack. Although it's small, the key is very, very important. You seem to have too much to carry. Get rid of some stuff you don't need and come back for the key later on. See, that, that right there. Sorry if that was a very loud yell. So, in Earthbound, when you're holding too much stuff, the game doesn't just, like, stop the dialogue and say, like, Oops, you're holding too many things. You gotta drop something. Like, characters will actually, like, they'll have a response for the fact that you don't have room in your inventory. And it's so fun, like... That, that is a thing. Um, and it just, it just goes to show how far the developers went with this game. And I don't have hiccups, but oh gosh, what is that in my, in my chest? Ugh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, we know your mayor, Perkle. Yeah, hey, hey, baby. Hey, boo-boo. Give us the key. Please. Yes, we want the key to the Touring Entertainer's Shack. And then I think once we finish that, once we finish Giant Step, then we can stop the stream. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Ness got the key to the shack. Hey, what's your name? I'm so busy with my election that I don't have time to meet with you. I'm so sorry. You understand, right? <laughs> 
Let's see if anyone else has anything to say. No, no, nope, nope. But that is the thing though, is sometimes characters do interact differently just merely after like a simple conversation like that happens. So uh, Daniel, by the way, in the chat says, it's incredible how many puns they managed to put into the translation, to be honest. I can imagine it's really hard to bring the intention of a pun from Japanese to English. I completely agree. I, I like so badly want to meet like Marcus Lindblom or Lindblom and Dan Osen someday just to like see what their personalities are like because it really feels like there is so much of them also in this game, in the translation elements. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's on like my, my bucket list of people to meet someday. Okay, so we're going to, let's see, what kind of health do we have right now? Um, we could probably just see if there's a magic butterfly around again. And then we don't have to go to the hotel and blow some more money. I think there was one down here before, maybe? Mm, no butterflies right now. Promise me no butterflies. Please. Please. The boy needs a butterfly. Ah, uh, Aerith, no worries. I, we appreciate you coming to hang out. It's very nice to have your insight. And thank you for the reminder about the Mother Direct. July, baby. I will watch it. Oh, look at, look at the snake now. The snake's like, oh, oh my gosh, you are so strong. Please, please, what do you want? What do you want from me? Oh, please, please. And this is probably one of the first games to really, like, allow you to run away or, like, uh, allow enemies to, like, run away from you. It was great. It was just such a nice detail. Yep, yep, yep. Same dialogue. Same dialogue. Well, we're going to open the shack, though. You're going to be so excited. How do we do that again? Probably goods. Key to the shack. Help. Key to the shack. A key to the traveling entertainer shack. Yeah, I like that there's dialogue in there as well for every item. That's really neat. <laughs> it's just a, wow. This is the definition of a shack. <laughs> the hole in the back is so great. We're gonna meet meet the mice. What kind of health do we? Oh yeah, let's use an item quick. Oh, we can actually just we can life up. Right, right, right. So good, so good. I forgot about that. You engage the rowdy mouse. 13 HP of damage to Ness. No, we can't have that. Oh, quit biting us. Why does he keep smashing us? I don't want to wear my mother ma watch right now because it's so hot out, but... There it is. Oh, you can't even see because the mic's off screen. There we go. Oh, no. It's too heavy now. <laughs> Ugh. My mic is dropping. Shoot. I tried to attach my mother watch to the the mic, but it, it added that much weight. Oh, shoot. All these ants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. These aren't ants. These are slugs. This really is the Pacific Northwest. I went out for a walk the other day with my partner and I'm not happy about the story. I feel, felt really bad about it, but I saw a thing on the ground and I kicked it. I thought it was like an acorn or something. It was a snail shell. And I cracked the snail shell. Um, my day was like ruined. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't step on it. I don't think I killed it. Maybe I did. I don't know. But yeah, this is just reminding me of that. I felt real bad. Real bad. And then Fallon was like, well, it's okay. You didn't do it on purpose. And I was like, I kind of did. I thought it, I didn't think it was a shell. Yeah, you big oof, I know. Um, I'm not proud of it. I'm just I'm just being honest with all of you. 
I'm coming. I'm using this is my therapy session right now. <laughs> How much experience did I get? I got negative, negative experience. This is Undertale. My life is worse now. I'm the villain. Ooh, we gotta heal up though. So R.I.P. I hope that s snail slug made it away. I just uh, I had to get that off my chest. I had to tell someone, you know. I had to tell someone. I'm so glad that these things are just weak. They're so weak to Ness right now. So I'm curious where... I asked this question in the Earthbound documentary as well, but I'm curious where all of you have first heard of Earthbound. I'm not going to put ideas in your head about, you know, and give you options, but I just want to know. Where... Where did you hear about it? Ah, uh, this is the part, Mark, by the way, where you, you would quit playing. Yeah, this part, if you... I think if you don't have all the equipment and the and you're not leveled up high enough, this part can become really annoying because the enemies are just, like... They're just relentless. Um, but eventually, you know, like we saw with the snake, you get to a point where you just... Um, the enemies will run away. So that's really nice. But, but I do think that having the equipment is key. If you don't have that, you're just gonna have a really rough time. But it makes everything so much easier. Look at all these. Um, look at in the strategy guide here too. By the way, um, I'll, I'll I'll change the focus here a little bit. Look at all the. Uh, look at all like the clay, models that they've made, for the enemies. They just put so much effort, in this book. It's crazy. Yeah, and they've even got the uh, over here. They've got like the yeah the pogo, punk, and the the all the sh all the sharks, and Frank's enemy is there too, or Frank's um Frank's robot is there again as well. I love it. Oh, I did show a bit of spoilers for the for the boss, but don't worry. Uh, Cactus first heard of it in internet forums. Oh, that's awesome. A uh, ghost, a friend from work told me about it, and seeing it made me want to come look at it. That's awesome. I like that it always feels like this game... I mean, I guess most people hear about different games word of mouth. I mean, I suppose you could find it on the shelf, but it's it's just really nice that Earthbound is just always getting talked about. It's cool. <laughs> Beautiful Joe. I that's a that's a fantastic comment. Oh no, you'll have to restart your IRL pacifist run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I messed up. That's snail. I'm sorry. Whoa, your brother used to rent Earthbound from the grocery store in the 90s? That's sweet, Matt. I actually have um back on the shelf here. I have Oh no, shoot, I died. Oh no. Crap. Um okay. This is an instance. I'm going to go back. I could just have easily healed and it would have been fine. But I wasn't paying attention. Um, uh, yeah, so I've got I have a plastic case behind me actually from like a rental store uh, that has like a uh, an Earthbound. It just says Earthbound on it, but they even like spelled it I think with uh, yeah they they spelled it with the space, which is just so great. But capital B as well. I love it. Very funny. Very funny. But it's part of my collection now. I don't know what grocery store it was from. Sadly, it doesn't have like a label or anything on it. Oh man, there's not even an item in this room. Dang it. Darn, darn, darn. That's all right. Um, what's our what's our health at again? 62, we're good now. Get out of here, you little rowdy mouse. I like that sometimes like with that, I don't know if you noticed that ant hit us, but I was able to like quick turn like towards the ant. And I don't know if I don't know if I was just quick enough. I don't know if the game actually gives you a window to kind of try to pivot your direction, but it felt like the game was being very kind to me and said, you know, actually you can look towards the enemy if you want. We're not going to make it side attack you. Side attacks are scary. Ugh. Tommy, I still want more Earthbound 25 years later. Yo, I feel that. I really do. Ooh, okay. Cool. Okay, so now we have to heal immediately. Um, Matthew, also in the chat, says, I'm 44 now. Bought it after seeing the Nintendo Power Scratch and Sniff ad. 
was sixty four ninety seven at a store called Hills in nineteen ninety five. That's sweet. I really wish I had some memories myself of like seeing it on the shelf. Um, I was born in the really early '90s, and uh, and I'm, I'm I loved my childhood. I have no no regrets about it at all, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I we had we had a Super Nintendo as like a hand me down from uh, from my cousins, uh, which are really nice. And, like, and without that, I I wouldn't be into the games the way I am at, for sure. Like it was the first place I played Final Fantasy two slash four and um but yeah i probably played that when i was like six seven eight um so you know i i didn't really get into gaming until the n64 and we got like i remember my my n64 i got that at um we got it at target but we went in with the intention of buying they had this pokemon stadium bundle which i've now seen like photos and stuff of it was like the pow battle set or power bundle or something like that Oh, sweet. We're auto one. That's so great. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, we went to Target and bought that there. So, you know, I, I guess I got my Nintendo 64 in what, the year 2000 or something then? Whenever that, whenever Pokemon Stadium was out and that, that bundle was, was available. Um, so, but I guess even before that, we did have a Sega Genesis that we bought from a store. And I do remember buying Super Nintendo games for a while, too. Like, I remember getting a player's choice copy of Donkey Kong Country 2 at Walmart. And I actually remember, like, I had this memory of me as well, like, sitting on, like, an end cap, like, in the back of Walmart in the electronics department. And they had, like, this, this end cap of, like, all these clearance games. They had PS1 games back there, Super Nintendo and Game Boy Color games. And I, like, went through and I sorted the whole bin. Like, that was one thing that I would do as a kid was, like, if, if I got really bored, like, at a store, I would just sort, like, a, a dump bin of games or something like that because I just thought it was fun. And, um, but, yeah, I never, I don't have any memories of ever seeing Earthbound on the shelf, and I wish I did. Um, or, like, had photos or something like that. Um, that's something a buddy of mine, Josh, has been, like, instilling in me is, like, whenever I see something that I like, I like, whenever I see something on a shelf and it brings me happiness... I should take a picture of it because like someday there's going to be a moment where like I'm not going to ever be able to find a picture of that. And maybe in the modern age, maybe that's less of an issue. But like I was just at Target yesterday and they have a cool breath or uh, Tears of the Kingdom like display in their electronics section. And so I took a couple pictures of it because I think it looks looks really neat and I don't want to forget about it. Long story long, though. Matthew, I'm so glad that you like have such fond memories of of how you got Earthbound and like where you got it because that's that's really neat. I cherish that stuff. I once had a dream. This is just like related to like game stores and stuff. I had a dream like I don't know, ten years ago or something that I was I was at Software Etc. in my in my mall, uh, which eventually turned into GameStop. But uh, I was at Software Etc., and this employee that I like knew and talked to like all the time, she was there, and uh, they had like Halo for sale, but it was like on like PS One or something like that, just wasn't Xbox or PC. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I bought it, but I just remember like in the dream picking it up and be like, "Wow, wow!" Uh, and now I just have this, I have this like fake memory. Of being in a store and, and all of that. But it wasn't real. It was a dream. Cactus Man, it was wild. My dad would side with me getting Lufia over toilet paper. That's so cool. <laughs> so was that like a conversation like you would be at the store with your dad to get toilet paper? Or something like that? And you'd be like, oh, no, mom sent us to get toilet paper. Like, we can't go back with a game. And you're like, dad. And he was like, yeah, I know. All right. Let's get Lufia, too. Is that what happened? Uh, oh, hey, we have PK Love now. Let's do it. Let's test it out. Yeah. Yeah, they are gone. Maybe I should have saved that for the boss. But, oh well. 
Uh, Everbran says, do you level grind in, in the your sanctuary locations after you've beaten the boss? Do you know, since the animals all run from you? Yeah, I think it's a fun... If you've got the um, the energy to do it, like the personal like energy, I mean, I would totally recommend doing that. Goods. Does anybody know which items restore PP? Let's eat the hamburger. Sweet. Maybe that was a bad move, but... You finally got here. This is the first Your Sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. This enemy is very heroic. Alright. Let's use that. Let's use... Let's use... PK Love. Ba -boom. Mm, I see, I see. So I should have saved that, eh? All right, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, let's bash the Titanic ant. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of... That was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna try to heal as fast as we can. Oh, cool. Oh, no, it's taking PP. Shoot, you jerk. Okay. We might be dealing enough damage, though, that it's okay. Let's see. I want to see if I can see how much HP the boss has. I think this guide tells us. 235. So, I think we're going to be fine. So we've probably dealt, dealt at least 100 by now. We basically just have to hit it 12 times, I guess? Yeah, keep doing defense down, buddy. Whatever. Use the magnet some more, why don't you? Please. Getting a little risky. Oh my gosh, this ant is just... The AI for this ant is just like... It doesn't care. It wants us to win. Very bad. <laughs> That's great. Oh, it's so good. Piece of cake. Look at that. Wow. We got so lucky. That was ridiculous. Ness gained 759 EXP. Dad, are you proud? Level 9. Oh, that's amazing. Maximum HP went up by 12? Yo, level 10. Oh, that, that's such a great way to cap the stream off, too. Nice number. It'd be cool if we could try to level up 10 levels every stream. But eventually, like, in the late game, it's just so hard to level, as anybody who's played RPGs knows. Here we are. We made it to big, giant, giant step. <laughs> big step. Soak it in. Soak it in, everyone. We did it. Ness caught a glimpse of, this, of a small, cute puppy. Ness's soundstone, Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. A cute puppy. How sweet. This game is just very, like, I don't want to say it's innocent, but it just leans so hard into the, like, the, the world is great. Just appreciate people. Be nice. <laughs> That's what this game's all about. It's really cool. All right. I guess time to leave. Time to leave the place. We'll head on out. And then once we get to bit back to own it, on it, won it, I want to go talk to the, the police officers down there. And, uh, and, uh, bup, 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 and see if they've removed the blockades, you know. Also, I'm glad that we got to just defeat that enemy. That was cool. Oh, and it even left us a cookie. That's so nice. <laughs> I'll start grinding. Okay, cool. Will they auto beat them? Or do we just deal? Oh, I see we just have the advantage, eh? Nice. Okay, that's cool. 34 EXP. How much do we need to level up? Oh, 590. 
only because it's so warm in the room today, I'm going to kind of try to get back to own it on it, one it a little bit faster. But maybe if I see some more ant slug things. Yeah, like that one. Let's try that one. That might auto win. Oh, no, there's two of them now. Darn. That's okay. We'll win anyways. Attack slug. Just like the one I kicked. <laughs> that was a very bad joke. Sorry. <sighs> was that dad? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now, Ness. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? No, dad. No. We have to get back. Ah, I see. Well... It doesn't make me happy, but I, I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake or, or whatever. Beep! Oh, yeah, I forgot we have to go back to the police station, too. That's right. Duh. Okay, so we're actually not done with Onet, Onet, Onet. Almost. It's funny how... Like, easily it is for me to just forget things. Does anybody else have that? Or, does any, or is everybody else, like, really good at just, like, remembering everything? Oh, and hi, Mai! My red's in the chat. That's cool. You had to make some food. Nice. We are, uh, we're just, we're just, we're hanging out with some slugs and ants right now. You know. Ugh, they're so scared. Ooh, we're definitely gonna get beat up by these ones now. Oh, no, they're so scary. Yeah, we'll go get some healing items, though. That sounds good. You can auto-beat items, or you can auto-beat enemies if their stats are low enough compared to yours, like the slugs are right now. Okay, cool. Eighty-one. That was. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Wow. We've we've gained like two hundred XP now since we've um. Since we've left another cool thing by the way too that i i'd love to do in in the game is like when you're running around and you're like you're almost dead and you have like no hp left or something and you're just trying to get out of a place or something let's say let's say that rowdy mouse is really deadly and you're like nah forget that i ain't doing that you walk back and walk back over here and you'll get a new set of enemies or like or they'll just be gone or maybe there will be less enemies even um so it's just you know it, it can be a good and a bad thing. If you have to do a lot of backtracking, you know, it, it might respawn some new enemies in, and you might not like that. Um, but you can also... Have we been up, have we been north? I don't think we've been up here yet. Uh, you can also use it to your advantage, though, is all I'm trying to say. There is a skip sandwich inside. Actually, I think we're pretty good with items right now. Yeah, we've got so much that I think maybe we'll go heal or, like, go stay at the hotel. Let's try the mouse. I was hoping we would beat it. Um, I says, also, I'm terrible at remembering things, too. I'll be doing a quest, then find something else, and then forget what I was doing. That's what me this weekend with Zelda. Totally. I feel that. My brain is just, like, with Zelda, too, it's just, like... Spoiler free. There's so much going on that I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Where do, where do I go? Uh, and Everbrand. I've always had a decent memory. Names of people I've met a couple times and see a while later sometimes aren't my best, but I can remember a lot of things in specifics others don't. That's cool. That's, that's a really good quality to have. Hey, you, hey, <clears throat> hey, you, uh, the board says do not enter. Could you not read it? No. What a rebellious kid. Come to the Onet Onet One at police station later. All right, all right, we will. Ba, ba, ba. We will. But first, we need to go to the hotel and rest. Oh yeah, what are these? Wow, you opened the door. All right, here's a trinket for good luck. It's the travel charm. Oh my gosh. I decided that you have too many items to carry though, and are unable to carry more. After you've organized your items, why don't you come back? All right, let's just like eat a cookie or something. So that's actually one thing I would love to point out, by the way, is Earthbound does not have a very good inventory management system. Every character can hold this many items. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 items total. But like with Ness, you've got the ATM card, the soundstone, the town map. Um, you've got your equipment items. So then after you like account for all those things, you really only have enough room for 
like a like half the amount of like items to really use and it's kind of a cool thing because then you you can't like over rely on items in this game either which i do appreciate but it does make the game just a bit more frustrating i think sometimes um you also can't sort things so like the only way to really sort things is to like like if if i want um the town map to be here i need to eat the bread roll um and i need to or i need to give some items to like my sister or something like that um so uh, there are ways to sort but it's not intuitive at all uh-huh the big footprint is called giant step what a what a way cool name Oh, you're right. You can go back to mom's house to heal for free. Good call. Good call, hungry steak boy with the Ness icon. We'll definitely do that. Thank you, thank you. Or you can go talk to Frank. Does Frank heal you as well? No way. Hands up, you have the Onet, 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 Onet theme on your Spotify playlist. Hmm, I, I actually don't know if I do. I should change that, though. What is wrong with me? Also, yeah, I earlier was like did we do this i don't think we triggered this i don't know how this is weird wasn't this supposed to happen way earlier in the game was it also someone in the nintendo life chat i don't know if it's felix or alex or somebody else but they just said earthbound and i was like wait did i spell like earthbound wrong in the title of the video or something i don't know but but we didn't um we didn't do the picture thing earlier. That was supposed to happen then, right? Yeah, look at the the strategy guy says says smile. You're on a less you're on less than candid camera. <laughs> Every so often on this version of Earth, a fanfare breaks out and a black-coated photographer drops from the sky. Strike your best pose, say fuzzy pickles, and let him capture your image where you are as you are. He's keeping a traveler's log and taking photos of important events on your journey. When you finish the adventure, perhaps you'll have an album to remember everything you did. Very swell. So yeah, this is the photographer. This is where Fuzzy Pickles comes from, if anyone is curious. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Yo, my, that is okay. I am also happy to admit, I have not finished Earthbound Beginnings. It's a very, very difficult game. Um, I'm, I'm probably about halfway through. It's on my backlog list that I'm still not going to clear off. But, uh, yeah. One day I will get to it. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot up to bed. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, thank you. Ness? I don't remember this. What is happening? Oh! Yo, cool! Ness, I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. That's cool. I forgot about that. Yes, but for the record, the, the Fuzzy Pickles man is stalking you, but he has good intentions. Seems like a nice guy. Do we have any items that Sis could hold on to for us right now? I don't think so. I mean, I guess we could give her a couple... Well, no, we'll, we'll keep the healing items, right? Bread roll, town map. Yeah, we, we'll, we want all this stuff still. Bye, sister. Yeah, so she will hold on to items for you. So if you, like, yeah, if you get too many healing items or you get, like, a, a random, like, special item that you don't need, then she'll just hold on to it for you. Free of charge. Very nice. So now we got to go to the police station and talk to the police. I bet they're going to be very nice to us. They're probably going to have a reward for us. Ooh, look it. There's a... Um, there's a magic butterfly. We don't need it, but I'm just gonna go snatch it. Cause I'm selfish. When you see a magic butterfly, do you not go tackle it? You have to, right? I actually don't remember where the police station is. Oh, but we can look at the map. Cause we have one. 
Wow. So helpful. Maybe it's here? Nope. Say something funny. I'll listen. Hmm. I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. I think this house has a Beatles reference, if memory serves me correct. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song, XXX Turde. <laughs> Can you fill in the blanks? Yes. Hey, it is yesterday. Wow, look at that. We got it. That's so cool. Nest egg around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There was just a plain, just plain old garbage. Darn. Yo, I like that the trash cans actually stay open as well. That's not something I realized or remembered from the game. Whoa, no way. Midnight was saying if you, at the beginning of the game, if you, if your inventory is full with cookies, that the soundstone will get sent to her inventory and then you don't have to hold on to it. That's super cool. Are we just going to the mayor's office? Is that where we have to go for the, like, or town hall? Is that, like, what the police station is considered? I don't recall. We're gonna find out. Nope, not it. But we can still talk to the mayor, though, and see. Ah, he's got nothing new to say. That's all right. Ah, uh, police station is down south. Thank you. I, sh I guess I, I forget. I have the strategy guide right here. I could have just done that. But I appreciate you helping instead. It was very nice. All right. The police station is next on the shopping list. Yo, Everbrand, Citizens of Earth, you like it? Oh, in, in Citizens of Earth, you can recruit a character to dig through the trash. That's awesome. I heard about that game. I saw it when it first like came out and didn't seem like it. It didn't look like my cup of tea. I didn't really care for the art. Um, but then now years later, I've heard that it's inspired by Earthbound a lot. So now I'm at, like it, it jumped up really high in my list of things that I have to play. But So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, blah, blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know? Blah, 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 blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah. <laughs> Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency. Of course, at times like this, Kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yeah. Okay. What is a chortle? What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, follow me. Okay. There we go. What is that guy? What is he looking at us for? All right, kids, show me what you got. Let's even get past five of my best men. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Nah, 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 nah. We got you. The cop. <laughs> the cop attacks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, let's just bash him. Boil him. Bash him. Stick him in a... Skip sandwich. Ness attacks. 36 HP of damage to the cop. The cop. The cop is aggressive. Oh, no. Have any of you seen that, uh... <laughs> the Jimmy Neutron Pizza's aggressive skit? Don't look it up, if not. <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> Chortle's like a chuckle. Ah, okay, okay. Save my side. Okay, all right. Ooh, yeah, I kind of want to heal already, but I'll maybe I'll like attack once or twice, then then heal up. Yeah, that looks like a good a good bet. So now, oh goodness! Oh no 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 no! Ah, dang it! That's all right. That's all right. 
You know, we got some experience, so I'm, I'm happy with uh, admitting defeat and going back. We could reset the save, but I, I don't need to. That's on me. I took the risk. I lost. And we didn't even use any size, so that's... Oh, God. We have none. Okay. All right. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. We're just going to... We're going to risk the biscuit. We're going to risk the cookie. And we're going to try it without any PP. That may be... A, oh, wait. Actually, let's go see if we can find a magic butterfly. That sounds like the smarter smarter bet. Yeah, Midnight. I'm sorry you had to look that up. It's, it's, um, it's an inside joke video between some of my friends. <laughs> Time for some Ness and Cop bonding. Hmm. I don't know about that. That sounds like a, a alteration of like a quote from another silly weird video that I can't forget or that I, I'm thinking of. Oh, some father-son bonding. No, no, that's what it is. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. You got me. <laughs> All right, I didn't see a butterfly. That's bums. Mad bums. That's all right. I think we can do this. I think we're still strong enough. Talk to Frank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks, gang. Gosh, it's almost like you, you guys are, are friends with... What? What? That was weird. What? He, like, scared the crap out of me. It just, like, ran up. Yeah? <laughs> You look, you look much stronger. Would you like to rest? Yes. Frank, yes. I did not know this was a thing. Ness, now, you're now stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. That's so cool. Oh my god, what do you want? What do you want, man? Leave us alone. <laughs> Please. Good guy Frank, who knew? Frank had a lot to say too earlier, and I've just completely blacked it all out. Yeah, I think he said some pretty inspiring stuff, but it just left my head. Cool. All right, so this time we're going to be very careful with healing. Very careful. Before this stream ends, by the way, too, because I think after this part... Wait. Oh, yeah, we got to talk to the cop. Right. Um, but before the stream ends, I want to know... Like if I if I turn this into like a regular like bi-weekly stream for the next <laughs> I don't know year or something would people tune in would anybody want to watch this you know is it special cuz it's mother's day or would it be you know um would it be a fun thing for people to come back for Also Ken um Ken I'm sorry like I hope there is you know not all mothers are good you know um and not all dads are good. Not all people are good. So I'm sorry that you are in a situation where your mom is not so good to you. Um, but I hope there is a mother in your life that doesn't have to be your mom, but it's somebody that you can appreciate and celebrate them. Um, and uh, yeah, like Father's Day. I celebrate my grandpa because he is, he is such a good father figure for me. So I think that's... Long story short, that's that's what advice I would give. Yeah, small fry. Must be shaking in your boots. Yeah, because your buddy kicked our butts earlier. All right. Bash it up. Bash it up. Can smash. The cop turned back to normal. Nice. That was easy. Easy peasy. Oh, and they even gave us a hamburger. Yeah? And you all, you, you'd you come back? You'd come back to watch more Earthbound? Okay. Thank you. That's very nice. I don't know if it'll be a Sunday stream. I think it'll probably be more like a during the week sort of stream. Um, but I'm open to like trying to find a day that works for people. Um, it really just comes down, like today I really wanted to do this today because of, uh, because of Mother's Day falling on this Sunday. It just felt like the right time, you know? Like fun, fun way to celebrate. Um, and uh, yeah, so in the future, it, it, it won't necessarily be on Sundays. It'll just be, um, it'll be whatever day kind of just works. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll always have like the, the VODs up on YouTube too. So like if you ever miss one and want to come back and watch, or just kick some police butt, then you can gladly do that. <laughs> have a hamburger in these troubling times. 
Yeah, it is really weird for like uh, like this cop to be like attacking us and then we win and he's just like, there you go, man. There you go, have a burger, have a burger. Ooh, also left us a present. Wow, so nice. No! Yes, yes, let's throw the cookie away. Get rid of the cookie. Oh, we've already thrown out all of our cookies. I think the bread roll is the next worst thing. Skip sandwich, maybe can of fruit juice? I'm gonna do the bread roll. Unless if, yeah, we'll do the bread roll. Also the strategy guide here calls the bread roll a butter roll instead and the skip sandwich is a lucky sandwich you probably can't read that but it's right there that's crazy bring it on bring it on okay 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 um, I think I'm just going to be safe and I'm going to heal right away. Because I feel like... Uh, okay, I was hoping they would attack first. So that way we could... We could, you know, handle that, that blow. But, yeah, I'm just going to heal again right away. i got to be careful, you know. But I suppose I could be eating these burgers instead, so... Oops! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, we still have enough health. Wow. This is getting spicy. Mm, okay, okay. Hey, the cop turned back to normal. Yeah, because all these cops are just, like, possessed. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime. Next time I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Baby. I'm happy everyone's hanging out and enjoying the stream. It's it's really nice. Um, I'm enjoying this too. Feels like walking down memory lane playing Earthbound again. Crushing chop. No thanks. Gonna dodge that. You won! We won! Oh, we're almost there. Level 11 now, too. That's sweet. I'm glad that the cops are spaced out and that we get to, like, yeah, gain the extra XP because I was hoping that we would level up in between one of these. Mm, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. That's so great. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition. So get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. Captain Strong. Mm, okay, I'll save this eye. That was a really good idea. Save that for heals and just swing. Swing at Captain. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some good attacks in here. It's grapple hold or a submission hold. What a psycho. This is like a wrestler. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh, yikes. His offense went up. Hasn't he already lost his temper, by the way? Yeah, that baseline's real good. Ooh, Daniel's playing Fire Emblem Engage right now, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been playing that a ton the past couple weeks. I just finished the Fell Xenolog DLC as well. But then Tears of the Kingdom came out, so it was like, Xeon, you need to take a break. Okay. But now we're playing Earthbound. <laughs> yeah. Grappled and used his submission hold. 45! Stop it, man. Okay, okay. Um, Gosh, I don't know if we can, like, stomach another... Yeah, I'm gonna... Can we? No. Okay. We're gonna eat a burger. Okay, good. He's on guard. That was good for us. Very good. 
Hey, he was defeated. Yes. Ness gained 492 EXP. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet, Onet, Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a second. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep, beep, click. <laughs> click, strong here. Daniel, you found it for $30 new? Where? I need to, f I, I have it digitally, but I really want a copy of Fire Emblem Engage physical. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey, it's Captain Strong. It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now. But I do want you to I do want to see you again. Good luck. All right. Well, you're you're never going to see us again. How's that? How's that, Mr. Police Officer? Amazon Germany. Ugh. That, that makes sense. I'm glad you got the deal. Well done. Well done. All right. I guess I want to go talk to the police down here and then go save with dad. And then and then, then we're good with the stream today, I think. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself, kid. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Oh, yeah, Tucson. Yeah, Everbrand says, I was wondering if Tucson was going to be a desert town because you knew, you know, of Tucson, Arizona. I think even like my second playthrough, I think I was like, huh, because <laughs> I just my memory is just so bad with certain things that uh, I just I forgot like what to expect. Oh, yeah, the hotel. That's where we're going. Oh, yeah. Talk to Frank. He'll save. Good call. Good call. We'll do that. Have you guys been watching Felix play Ocarina of Time too, by the way? That's been so cool. I've missed out a couple of his streams just because of the time of day he streams. And I forget to go back and watch the um, the VODs sometimes. But, but yeah, I really need to catch up on that. But it's been so cool to see him just playing Ocarina of Time for the first time and like share that with everybody. Gosh, I would love to like wipe my memory and play Ocarina of Time again from scratch. But it's kind of like we get to do that vicariously through him. Um, so that's really cool. I really dig that. Yeah, so that's the cool thing, too. I think I mentioned that earlier is uh, Hungry Steak Boy mentions Onet is called uh, One Et because it's the first town in the game. And then Tucson, or Tucson, is the second town. It's just very cute. And then we've got Four Side later. I think Three is the third town. I don't remember what comes after that, though. Five. <laughs> I don't know. I really have no idea. I guess we... How much money do we have right now? $41. We're fine. We're fine. Ness picked up the receiver. Let's call mom. It's Mother's Day, right? Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yeah. Tracy started working part-time for Ex S -Car Go Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me whenever you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. <laughs> that sounds like me. That's me. I call my family like, it's rare. Um, just because I feel like I'm never free. But maybe everybody else feels that way too. I don't know. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for S Cargo Express. What can I do for you? Nothing. I don't want anything. <laughs> what? Click. All right. Ness picked up the receiver. Uh, we're going to call dad now. Oh, yeah. So now we can call S Cargo Express to just talk to Tracy and she'll come like deliver or pick up items from us now. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $795 into your bank account. I know it's a lot of money in the 90s, but I think you're going to need it. <laughs> Taking away what you've spent, you should now have 742 in the bank. Well, EXP to get to the next level. It's about 438. Anyway, what do you need from me? All right, all done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure, as I always do to this point. 
Good night. Now, I guess I can just hit the end button, right? I don't think I've done that before. What happens? We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right? So what do I... Do I just... I guess I'll just create a suspend point for fun quick here, I guess. Save slot two. Um, if I go to the game selection menu then... Oh, I can reset the game. I guess this is kind of the reset anyways, but I just want to make sure that our save is there and good and intact. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I just want to know. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I almost spilled my water bottle on the Earthbound guide. Oh, wow. That would have been very bad. Wow. Oh yeah, there it is. Earth, space, bound. The war against Gygus. Uh, Hungry Steak Boy, by the way, says only the first four towns are named after a number. That's good to know. No way. Everbrand, I wrote a fanfic called The Legend of Fiveberg for Starman back in the day. No. Yo, if you ever find that, that'd be so cool. I wish I was a part of Starman.net back in the day. I've like heard about it, of course, over the years now, but I never was in the forums or anything. It's just so cool to know that that was a thing. Yeah, the intro is so good. Hey, there it is. Level 11. All right, everyone. Thank you all for the stream. It was so good. I'm so glad so many of you showed up as well and it just, just enjoyed it. Um, let me know uh, if, uh, like I said, if you want to see more of this, feel free to sh share this around on the internet if you want because uh, the VOD's going to be online. You can always go back and watch it if you missed parts. The Lonely Goomba. Hey, Thank you. Happy Earthbound Day to you as well. Happy Mother's Day here in North America. Maybe it is in Canada too. I don't know. Um, but really, just thanks Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget, if you have a very kind, if you have a mother in your life, go ahead and give them a call. Call your grandmother. Text your friend who happens to be a mother. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're married or dating somebody that is a mother. I don't know. But remember, just uh, you, you don't need a day to push you to to talk to somebody but uh i do think it's very true that they will most likely they will love to hear from you so give it a try uh and if not go play some earthbound it's on nintendo switch online so thank you again for hanging out stay safe out there and i will see you all next time thank you again really really <laughs>